It has the little jester mask, like it's an imposter. It might have been someone who was using, like, pretending to be you for a little bit. I don't know. Did you did you did you talk to this person? No. <laughs> Never. Maybe like, I added the wrong person. Like, I don't know. Like did like did somebody like like somebody sent you that request, right? I hope so. Or I, like I or did tell you or did you or did like you been here forever? Did you search S Steam for Mike in parentheses Vinny's friend? <laughs> Like and, the My Little Pony show, and, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then just add whoever fucking you found. <laughs> maybe maybe oh your my name God. is Mike, but you're in the group Vinny's Friends. I don't know. <laughs> this is how okay. I introduce I... myself, and this is how I go through life. It's like, hi, my name is Mike, otherwise known as Vinny's Friend. Uh, I have no, de no defining characteristics of my own. Oh boy, um, that's see, that's the problem with the internet. That's what you are to some people. I know that feeling. I tried. But I, to... I think I have the right person now. I think I've got you. I've tried to find like a suitable Fall Guys gif mm -hmm. uh, for the for the tweet that I'm trying to send out, and I found one that says "Yeet me, Daddy," and it's somebody getting hammered by the by the hammer. But oh. I don't know. Twitter doesn't like this gif for some reason. Like I can't. I just, just want to send a tweet. Like just let me tweet. All right, I invited you to Fall Guys, so tell me if you got it. Otherwise, I have to remove someone from my friends list. Ooh, Mr. Popular, huh? Well, I got to make sure it's you. Uh, so you have, so, yeah, somebody who's pretending to be me on yeah. the on, on the fucking <laughs> friends list. I would really love to know how that happened. Hi, chat. What's up? Uh, good to see you tonight. So this is this is Andrew Hugby's. Oh, and hi. He, Hello. He, he thought that we were already friends on Steam. And he he was in fact friends with a random person called Mike and in parentheses Vinny's friend. And we're, right now that we're, was their name on we're, Steam. We're trying to figure out like who who that was. Like did this <laughs> like somebody tried to trick him into thinking that 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 was me or or uh that, what was the icon? Is it the fucking little mask thing? Well, you know, I wish I could tell you, but now I'm scrolling through the list and they're gone. They fucking changed. They, they got they called might out. They just deleted their friendship with me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, fuck. Found out. <laughs> they, they, they were listening. They've been yeah, caught. Yeah. They, they fucking... Because you can't impersonate. <laughs> That's got to be like a TOS violation to fucking impersonate somebody, right? Oh, absolutely. Steam shows name history if you want to check. That that's true. Like you could look at somebody's Steam profile and you could find out every other name that they've ever they've ever went by. I, uh, oh yeah, you can. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. Find out who that clown was. I'm coming for you, Mike parentheses Vinny's friend, whoever you are. <laughs> it's called uh, My Little Pony Love and Magic and and then and then Magic again. That was his original account name. That was his original account. So he made that account as me and has been impersonating me. Who knows, man? Maybe you're just super popular. And you and, and you never communicated with him? Like, I'm wondering what he was trying to accomplish. Like, was he trying to smear me? Like, did he just, like, hit you up and he was like, Hey, uh, hey, Andrew, uh, this is a picture of my penis. And then just show, showed you, like, some random micro penis picture that he found. Well, that may or may not have been an actual picture of my penis, but well, that's besides the think, point. Think about the circumstances it took us to get here, though. This means that some some time ago, long, long ago, in some galaxy far away, yeah, there was a time where I was like, ah, Jabroni Mike, he added me on Steam. Yeah. Let me accept that request. <laughs> and I don't think we've ever played a Steam game together before. We've played the Nintendo games together yeah. before. We've yeah. played the Mario and Sonic, but I don't yeah. think we've ever played on Steam. No. No, so, so this is really throwing me for a loop here. I thought I just always had you on Steam. Since you got got somebody, somebody got you. Steam is pissing okay. me off because I can click on your fucking thank you. There we go. Fuck, I've been trying All to do right, that now, for like ten you, minutes. Are you two one six four or is that Jabroni? Is that Mike parentheses Vinny? <laughs> could be, could be the imposter. So I'll say he's really good at this. But that's the thing uh, I wanted to address, guys. He's he's that yeah he's that good. He's. <laughs> He's really committed. <laughs> uh, we were oh, gonna let me, do. Let me pull your chat up. I didn't even think of that. We were gonna do fucking uh, what should we call it? Among Us, but uh, a bunch of people uh, bailed on it. Fuck, so we uh, said, "Fuck it, people. let's do uh, what should we call it instead?" Uh, Fall Guys. Uh, what the fuck? Why yeah. not? 
Um, and I guess I'm never gonna. I'm, never, I'm, just, I'm just never gonna get to play Among Us. This is like the third Among Us game that, in some way, like fell through or just ended up not happening uh, with you or with like other people. I'm just oh, never. Really? Go- I'm just never gonna get to play this. Yeah, like something I... always happens and I don't get to play it. We've apparently decided next weekend it will happen, so I will try to give you first dibs on a spot. Okay. But, uh, I, I right. feel bad because, like, I, I set all this up and I went, okay, eight people have said yes. Two people are maybes, and they said remind them the day before, or rather earlier that day, to check in with them. And I was like, okay, I got eight people. I can have, like, two backups or ask around. It'll be great. And then I I go starting today asking people if they come around. Three people said, oh, I can't. I I can't make it. One person forgot we were doing it. And then then my friends from the podcast, the four of us, I talked with them with it. And two of them were like, well, I don't really feel like doing it anymore. Fuck that game anyway. I said, fuck it. We're done. I'm not going to bother trying to put this together anymore. Let's just play something else. Jesus. It's amazing, especially when, when you're the person who's in the middle of trying to organize the thing and you have to, like, herd cats. And nobody fucking appreciates the effort that you put into trying oh, to make this yeah. happen. Oh, I'm getting the, axed over and over. The, oh the internet loves content and they will appreciate, like, good things. But the internet will never appreciate effort. The no. amount of time it takes to make stuff and put it together. Even just organizing groups is so much harder than you'd think it would be. Especially sometimes. with this fucking game where you have to you have to get like eight to ten people, otherwise it's not I worth know. doing. <laughs> you have to literally plan it like a fucking Facebook event. And then even then everyone always checks maybe even when they say yes. The thing it, the thing is they'll always be like, yeah I'm totally down. I totally want to fucking play. That sounds great. And then an hour before it starts, even less they'll be all like, oh I, I didn't know we were actually doing that. I was kidding. Oh I thought that was just jokes. Oh, I thought. I, oh, I thought, oh, you I wanted we to actually saying, yeah, do this? Do I thought it was a meme that you were doing. <laughs> I thought you were meme planning. Oh, well. I, what? it's okay. I put together Among Us groups every now and then, and Mike, I will give you a spot. Don't you worry. I just, I'm, I'm sorry that, uh, that that happened like that. And I was psyching myself out, out for it too, because it's like, and I was telling my, I was telling my chat about this. Right, it was like I was having some like social anxiety, you know, because I knew there were going to be people in there that I that I never met before, and that always like freaks me out a little bit. Like new people just freak me out, and then I was like, you know what? Uh, no, I'm gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be a social butterfly and, and, and all that, and like you know, just I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna conquer my fear and not be a little a little pussy about it. And I'm like, I'm all ready to do it today, and I, I took a bath to get ready for this. <laughs> I took a bath. You know how often I I, I bathe myself? Never. <laughs> Never, Andrew, never. <laughs> Dude, the, the fucking bathtub had little, um, they had the jets in it, and I put one of, I put my asshole right onto one of the jets. As you should, of course. Dude, it was fucking transcendent. Now, wait, did your bath always have jets, or did you go to, like, a special bath for this? No, I, I had, uh, yeah, it was, it was a bathhouse. I went to a bathhouse. You went all the way to a bathhouse to take a bath to be ready for the a street. A special, yeah, that's right, a special bathhouse that had jets. And then I just parked my asshole directly on top of the jet. It was it was purifying. It, it purified me. It was well, like a it was like a second claim. back to a second baptism. That's how you stake your claim. If someone tries to sit too close to you, you like squint yeah. your ass a little bit so the pressure increases, and you just shoot, shoot poopy water at whoever's sitting next to you. It lets them know that's your territory. The uh the dingleberry projectiles. Yeah, like a, like a cobra. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't go to a, a special bathhouse, but I figured if there was the off chance that, that one of these people would be able to, like, smell me through, through the, through the internet. <laughs> you know, because I'm a gamer, like, I don't really take personal right. hygiene, you know, very, that, very seriously, right? So, mm-hmm. it's just how I roll. I don't think anyone on the internet does, man. No, you need to I smell mean, good to be a gamer. No, uh, and I recently learned that the soap that I was using anyway was actually, uh, Inserting soy into into my body and de- and, and killing my sperm. What? Oh uh, yeah, I use Irish Spring. Oh and god. And there's a new uh, a, a new a new soap brand out that uh it markets itself as soap for men. Uh huh. So if you use any other soap but the soap, um, you're not a man. You're right, not a man. Yeah, you're not. You're not men a man. Men are not allowed to use multi-purpose soap. It must be for men, or they will die. And, and yeah. th- dude, you'll die. You're you're, you're just dead. You'll like... just shrivel up like a raisin and fucking peel <laughs> in the sun and float away. 
And in the in the advertisement, which I have not seen, but it's been described to me, the, oh, the I just, fuck, I uh, just you, got out. I'm you, sorry. You disqualified. I was like 30 second out of 30. Son of a bitch. I'll you don't, stay in though. Keep you don't going. mind. You don't mind watching, right? Oh no, See, this I, one I of the things stay that... in until every. I stay in as long as someone in the party's in. I, don't I, mind. I do the same thing because it's like I could just chill, you know, like whatever. Yeah, I'll put my controller down. I'll listen to your fucking like cleansing bed bath and beyond yeah. experience here i'm ready <laughs> this advertisement had a fake soap brand in it that was like a bootleg irish spring logo it was it was bizarre because why did they target that brand specifically like what did irish spring do to do to hurt anybody and and why is that considered a quote-unquote feminine soap that's such a good question. Is there anything to male and female soaps beyond just how it smells? No! Like, it, it, like it's the same exact garbage, but for women it's like, you could smell like, smell like cherry blossoms, or perhaps you could smell like a squirrel's birthday. <laughs> a but squirrel's then, birthday! But, but then for men it's like, you get to smell like an engine, or you get to smell like a fist fight. <laughs> it's like, that's the only difference. Roadhouse. It smells like Roadhouse, or uh, yeah. Greaser who's been working on yeah. his on his on his fucking car, yeah. I get some of them. It's like, all right, sandalwood and shit. That smells nice. Or yeah. if you have like that crisp kind of cologne scent, that could be good. But some of them are fucking baffling. It's like you could just smell like musk. It's like, <laughs> I, why would I? Who would buy this? We have harvested why? the scent. Give me the flowers. The I'll scent glands those. of a fucking capybara, and we have <laughs> instilled that we have fused the deodorant with that aroma. You we can dug try up an ancient mummy who died drowning in his own diarrhea, and we knew that his <laughs> leadership is what our soap should smell like. Dude, why? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, as as long as I guess you don't smell like bo, it doesn't matter. I mean, as, right? yeah, as long as you don't smell, and even then, a little bit is just fine. Like a little bit of people smell, people stink. It happens. As long as you're like clean. It's part yeah. of life, is what you're saying. It Body is. odor is it part is. of life. The chat is telling me that you're like quiet. Is it? I'm gonna boost. Me? I, I'm gonna boost them. Don't try uh, anything my, yet. My chat is saying that Jabroni Mike sounds like a felon. I'm calling my local police department, and that's weird because every single person in my chat is saying that. Oh, like I'm, unanimously. I'm, oh, they're all calling me a felon. Every single one of them. There's not a single message in my chat that isn't about how you belong in a penitentiary. I carry around the weight of my crimes, so I guess that... <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I can't hide it. I can't... Bro! Oh! The f they made the fruit so much more aggressive in this latest update, dude. Would you like to explain on that one, or...? The, the fruit is angrier. It's angrier. It's faster. <laughs> oh! It never used to be like this. I never had a problem with the fruit shoot until now. There's a lot to what Look you at just this. said. Like that that sentence has a lot of levels There's to it. There's a lot, yeah, a lot of layers. Look at I, this. I I'm never had a problem with the fruit shoot. Just I'm counting me day and night. I never I'm caught in a fruit loop. Alright, no no no, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Oh actually you you're okay. Yeah, I'm no, good. I made it. Qualify. You're good. Yeah, yeah. But why I don't. Yeah, they made the fruit shoot a lot harder. I, I never used yeah. to have a problem with that, and now it's like just yeah, fruit assault yeah. to the face. Normally, I'm used to getting inside the fruit shoot and just pounding the away fruit. day yeah. and night, harder and harder and harder yeah, yeah, until yeah. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. But <laughs> but lately, I feel like it's been reverse. You know? It's, yeah, it's the uh, there was a little a little flip flop took place. Yeah, yeah. A, little, a little little flip, bit of the fruit shoot inside the flip, me the flip, coming the flip, out. You know the what flip, I mean? The flip fuck the reverse. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I like to bottom during gay sex. You know, let's just say it. Oh, yeah, that's totally unrelated to what I was saying. Oh, you weren't? That's... Okay, my bad. Oops. No, that was... I don't know why you would bring that up, Mike. What does that have to do with this conversation? I, it's one of the things I learned about myself in jail since I'm a felon. <laughs> <laughs> I so fucking hate this, this minigame. Yeah, I'm, I'm we... I'm so we... glad we could... We've been meaning to do this for a while. We haven't done another game session a good long time. No, we haven't. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. Last, it's just schedules are a thing, and I, you know, I like to, yeah, I like to do last my own one thing we did here was, and there. Uh, was Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games, right? That was a good time, and and that dude, was. dude, wild thing about that, right? Mm -hmm. The fucking Olympics that that game is based on never happened. Didn't happen. <laughs> so that yeah. game is is a fucking anomaly. That's true. It's wild. Yet right, another I, fictional yeah. Mario and Sonic universe to explore. Yeah. All right. 
This I I, this. I, I, hate, this one's easy. I hate this game. I've, I've never beaten this one. Oh. So I'll give you a little tip on this one. Give I win this one all the time. When when you're kind of alone and everyone's just jumping, mm -hmm. just uh, tap someone with a grab. Don't hold on to them because you'll get stuck, but just give them a little tap or, or just lose immediately. That works too. Yeah, one yeah. way or another. It wasn't even like the thing knocked me off. I just tipped off the side of it for no reason because I'm you a You didn't have the will to win. Eh, it wasn't there. No, it wasn't. So you're, you're saying, like, don't full-on grab somebody, but you, you yeah. give them, like, a love tap? So if, if you full-on grab someone in that game, there's a chance you'll get stuck in the animation and you won't be able to jump in time. But if you tap, the servers in this game are such dog shit <laughs> that, like, they'll get grabbed an hour later yeah. and they just won't be able to react <laughs> And to then they sometimes. don't get that. See, you know, I feel like that's been done to me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand what was happening. Now I get it. Yeah. Oh, it happens to me constantly. If you just tap people, just the inherent lag will give you an advantage. That's just fucking... giving them a little tap. That's all you got to do. That's cheesy. I like that. It's really disgusting, yeah, that's, that's, but it works. That's good. That's good. I'm going to try it next time. <laughs> all right. Well, you're back in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm ready to lose immediately again. The uh, the stream title is uh, Dead Game. Hoi, 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 hoi. Which right. was the name of a Hawaiian king, I think. Um, <laughs> one of the. I, I remember that episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna defeat you, Cell. Remember the yeah the first time I became aware of that guy, I was like, what, like the Dragon Ball Z thing? Like that was my first thought. Like, did they mean to do, to do that? Like, did did. did the animators or, or whatever, like, did the people who made Dragon Ball Z, like, did they mean to for that to have anything to do with that guy? I, I think that there's, like, a tradition in anime and manga where they just name things after people just because it's funny. Like, like look at JoJo's, where every character is named after musical uh, references, yeah, yeah, and it yeah, means yeah, yeah. absolutely nothing. They just yeah. are for no reason. And Evangelion, where, like, all the fucking yeah. biblical references it have absolutely no fucking consequence yep. and are totally and they, meaningless. they fucking interview the animators, and they're like, what is this scene here where the robot is being crucified? What's the symbolism? And they straight up just say, oh, it looks cool. Yeah, we thought it was cool. We thought it was <laughs> fucking sweet, dude, so we put a reference to this religion in there. I guess it was kind of cool, but... You, 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 it was what, extremely you, cool, you know what? You, you see things like that, and it, it, it fucking... You're in. You're still in, right? I'm still in, yeah. I, I got eliminated because I got oh. caught on the fu on the fucking teeth for like 20 minutes. Oh boy! Uh, when you see things like that, you expect it to have some meaning to it. Like it's like, oh, mm -hmm. well, that's gonna be, like they they wouldn't have done that unless there was an allegory or a metaphor. But Japan just like wiped their ass with all that stuff. It's Japan like, has evolved beyond creative symbolism and storytelling to the point where they do things just because they think just, it looks just cool. because it looks cool, yeah. And that's fine. Hey, that's that's fine. But the reason I, I called the stream that was because the Fall Guys Twitter account has been getting just harassed by, like, the South American football fans. I, I guess Dude, soccer what? soccer fans. Huh? So I guess what had happened was Fall Guys, you know, was a phenomenon, right? And so yeah. there ended up being a clip of, like, Tim the Tatman or something playing Fall Guys that got played on ESPN for like five minutes, right? So ESPN or something did 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 a, did a short segment about this video game, and all the the sports fans just went absolutely rabid. They were like, "What is this baby shit? Like, what what is this video game like garbage on my fucking sports channel type of a fucking thing?" Like, they all mm -hmm. collectively lost their fucking minds, right. and to the point where the Fall Guys Twitter account it, it tweeted it was like. How do we like? Is there something that we could do about this? Because we heard that this happened to the, we heard this happened to the Fortnite account too at one, at one point, and I went and I looked in the replies to the tweet, and it was just a bunch of fucking like Brazilians and Argentinians and shit with like the, their profile pictures were like soccer players and everything, and it was just dead, dead game for gay baby. Wait 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. It was like hundreds of replies that are just like, wait, wait, wait. It's John, like John, 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 John. It's Knuckles. It, it really was. And I'm like, what? why though? Why what? Why put the effort into this? It was, there was hordes of them. Hui, wait, like curds and way. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. I think it is just way, 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 way. Pick up a football. Well, it's a soccer ball, but you're not allowed to fucking touch the soccer ball in, in 
in soccer with your hands. So I guess you'd be like, put your foot on a ball, man. Yeah, use your feet only and your head and your... Can you use elbows in soccer or no? Probably not, no, right? no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not a big sports man, but yeah. you can use your chest mm -hmm. uh, and you could use, like, your legs. You can't touch the ball your with your head. hands. And your head, yeah, you could. So I guess you're just not allowed to touch the ball with your, any part of your arms. Right. At all, okay. at any point, I think, is how it works, which... Okay, yeah, whatever. That doesn't make any sense. We evolved from primates to use tools in our hands, and then we fucking don't use them. Football is stupid. Football is a great sport. American football. Because you could use football, every part of your most body. Most of the time, we're holding the ball with our hands. That, 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 you know, I never thought about that. Well, you, I guess the yeah. field goals, you kick it, right? Right. Which is like less than 2% of the action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, 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 yeah, that's a really good point. Why the fuck is it called football? It, I, oh, man, maybe the, the, the so Europeans let's... are right. Maybe we should just let them have the, that name for, for, for soccer. I like, agree. So yeah, we might have fucked up. What's the better name for American football then? If we actually had to change it to something that would make sense. Um, brain damage. <laughs> Competitive brain <Colossal> damage. Colossal injury. <laughs> Competitive brain damage. How do you how do you like this one? Meat slam. Me th that's perfect. <laughs> Isn't that a good one? I like that one. Meat slam. That's my favorite sport. One word. Meat slam. slam that yeah. meat, boys. You're just slamming your meat into other me into other the Our meat, meat of meat other is men. Our meat really good this year, and we're gonna slam it to the pro league. <laughs> I like that. I'd watch a game of Meat Slam. Oh, uh, and then, like, John Meaton could announce all the games and shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. John Meaton. You should feel ashamed for I, that. Oh, I am. Well, I said after, like, over about, eh, almost probably six years of doing this, I've developed the ability to, like, not feel shame, you know? <laughs> or I, it's, 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 it, it's harder for me to feel shame. I, I do still feel it, but uh, it's it takes more. What is this, uh, fucking, like, I, I don't know. What, this game? This this caveman-looking dude? What is what is this? Oh, that's just a neckbeard. There's a neckbeard costume now? In this game? Are you seeing that guy? Oh my god, I am seeing that. Is that a dev? I, it, uh, it, it's somebody who works for the, the company, if I'm not like mistaken. That a dev. The community he, he manager. Just won, right? That guy? Uh, I, I, he was... He was getting there when I switched away from him. You won, right? I uh, yeah, I won before him. So I guess the devs suck at their own game. Yeah. Well, it's... It looks like, I think it's a dev. Uh, someone in my chat is saying it's the community ma manager. There's two of them actually. Oh, it's a, no. There's other people wearing that costume. I guess you could buy it. And he's got like a tuft, a tuft of uh, of blue, of blue hair, like part of his. Why not what, just dye yeah. it all? Just dye it all blue? No, like I. Did you uh, see that the community manager for Fall Guys used to make, like, drawing meme videos? Nah, what's that? So, so the community manager for Fall Guys, the guy who runs their Twitter and does all that stuff, he first got an audience on YouTube by doing MS Paint doodles of memes. Like, like dick butt? Like, he'd sit there yeah. and just draw yeah, dick butt? Yeah, so he would make a video of, like, I'm gonna show you how to draw Doge! And he would open up MS Paint and draw Doge in it. And that was like what made him popular. Like he draw the, the the Doge with the with his cursor in like the a, yeah, a very poor rendition of it. Yeah, and just millions of views on that, huh? Yup, that's where he that's where he started. Cause that was the meme, right? Like it wasn't supposed right. to be good. It's like, oh look, I'm bad at I'm bad at art, and it's and it's funny. His well, name is Oliver, age twenty four. Okay. Yeah. And he's yeah, the guy who the runs guy. The, the the Twitter account. Yup. So that's the guy who's the the costume. The new, the new uh, costume. I would assume so. What is, what does your man look like? You're a banana, right? I am a banana upper. I'm a balanced breakfast. I'm a banana upper half and a hot dog <laughs> lower half. Everything a growing boy needs. Are that you just one? Disgusting! I just won with yeah. a really, really hard play. Ooh. Yeah, that went well for you. I usually um. Yeah. Yeah, I usually fuck those types of things up, but uh, then again, I'm generally pretty bad at video games. Most people don't know that about me. So, so how much of season two have you played? Like this is gonna be like the second time I've streamed okay. it, so I've okay. got about like maybe four tops five hours in season it, uh, two. 
I played it for the first time yesterday as well, just once. And uh, I've learned that this game right here is fucking terrible, in my opinion. There I don't were, know if you agree. Yeah, there was a moment where I put about... It was like three or four minutes of effort into trying to jump through one of these hoops. Mm -hmm. And I, somebody else ended up jump, jumping through it, and it, 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 was, it was very painful. But yeah. the chat chastised me. And they said, you should have ignored that one and went to go get a different one. Like, the strategy right, is right. just be on the other side of the stage where from where everybody else is because that's where the new hoops are going to spawn. So instead of fighting with everybody over the hoops that are there, just wait for new ones, essentially. I've learned for games like that, it's just play to the RNG. Don't put in effort. Just kind of like sit around and wait for the game to let you in. So there's you like know? five other people trying to get into a hoop. Just ignore that. Exactly. Uh, it's common sense. I don't know why I was... Because it, it became a thing about principle where I just... I was like, no, fuck this. This one is mine. I'm jumping through it. It was oh, dumb on my done... part. I have not done New Hexagon. I don't know if they've changed it at all. It feels like the platforms fall faster, but maybe that's just in my imagination. Ah, uh... oh, jeez. I'm gonna get hornswoggled here. What a good word that is. Holy shit. Oh, Hornswoggle is a classic, isn't it? Hornswoggle is awesome. Also, unappreciated, I was thinking about this word the other day, bamboozle. Ooh, another good one. Yeah, bamboozle is a fucking fantastic word. Bamboozle oh. is very, very nice. Thinking about My a... Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, say something to entertain the chat and keep them invested, because I am concentrating on winning this World Series championship right here. I think you're going to get it. Oh, I think I'm going to get it, too. Try I'm sweating like a motherfucker. I've got nine fans pointed on me so that I can sweat hard enough to ruin the elementary school where these kids will co go to after this game. <laughs> they don't stand a fucking <laughs> chance. It's not daycare anymore, baby. Uh, there we could be some... graduated from ABCs to 1, 2, 3s. I think they could be like 30-year-old men in their, you know, mother's basement. That's a thing, right? How are you doing half of the oh shit? Oh my that... god, well, I fucked it up, so that's how I was doing it. There, there, no, there, there were some god-tier plays that I just witnessed come out of you. Oh, yes, there were. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh! Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he killed himself to do that, though. Gooped. Oh, you, you saw that, though? You, he, you, you he got gooped. To, uh, he, yeah. He tried to we can buy it back out of that. He tried he was, to He was a contender. He was a contender. He's going to go further in life than I ever would, let's be fair. I only value my measure as a human being based on how many crowns I have in this game now and nothing else. <laughs> oh, did you want a squad stream? I forgot we could do that. I don't even know what that is. All it does <laughs> is mean that like people can watch both streams at the same time. Uh, uh, you want to do it? Is it? Yeah, I think I, I, I had done that with somebody once, and it was like, it was like pointless. Like it was just. Yeah, it kind of is. I, I just sent the invite. We may as well. I All forgot right. about doing that. You send it on Twitch. Mhm. Mm All right. So it'll I'm be just... on your dashboard. All right. I'm gonna look at my dashboard real quick. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's if just you if you hit it. squad stream, it'll be like invites or something. Dashboard, and then it says squad. Uh, yeah, and then oh. if you click invites in there, it'll be like, oh, look at this guy. Squad. Uh, the 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 the. Where did again? You, uh, did you turn on the orb of confusion? <laughs> I exist inside an orb of confusion. Oh boy. Stream. You want to click S stream. I have no like notifications from from Twitch of anything. All right, don't don't worry about oh, it. Oh, allow, uh, allow. It, oh, it. I had to click allow incoming invites. Oh, there you go. Well, it was. It said only allow invites from channels I follow, friends and teammates. I mean, I I follow you on Twitch, so then why didn't I get the, mm -hmm. the invite? I don't know. Oh, wait, vice versa. Wait, 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 wait. Notifications. Wait, wait. Oh my god, Hot Rod Flames. Oh, 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 I got it. <gasps> oh, I did got you? it. Oh. Did you? Did you accept it? Uh, I think it worked. Did it work? Uh, let's see. I clicked it. I uh, don't know. Uh, no, it still says invite sent. Did I send it to Mike parentheses Vinny's friend or something? <laughs> There's somebody in the chat. Uh, oh, You're I got... squatting with me right now. Are we? Are we squatting? Uh, I don't 
think we are. Oh, uh, we're squatting like two Gopniks taking a shit. In if we of can't the figure it out in like a minute, we can just say fuck it. Start squad stream. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, we got it. Hey. How Get many out. times do you want me to accept it, Twitch? We did it. I tend to make things uh, more complicated yeah. than they are. It's... The only the only thing I've noticed on it that I like is you can like share viewers. So just bump us up on the Twitch metrics. That's is that cool. is that how that works? I think it does that. Yeah. So you just look nicer and cooler when you're doing it. That's all. You look like a big like a big boy streamer. You look like a big man. Also, you know that that fucking neckbeard skin. You can buy it in the store, and I'm doing it as we speak. You going for neckbeard? I've already bought it. Well, I'm. I like being a proud cock. Is it? Is oh, it? I'm not putting it on. I just wanted to just have it. Is it a? Uh, it's a micro transaction. How much did it cost? Uh, nine thousand kudos. Uh, Jumpy Bob says party leader can select the show type, main or gauntlet. Well, being that I'm in a multiplayer game with somebody, I think we we, we probably want to do the team games. So I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna leave I, it on default. I mean the the gauntlet is literally just the main show with less games available, so I'd say we just do the regular one. I think it's cool if you're, if you're if you're playing alone because the te the team games can we'll and and run. and do suck ass. Yeah, yeah. I have a theory about why you lost that last match. By the way. Oh, go go right ahead, please. You had all those fans on on you, right? And what yes. had happened was you you sweat so much <laughs> that you sweat out all of your gamer juice. Oh my precious gamer juice! You lost all of your gamer juice, therefore, mm -hmm. uh, and the fans blew it off your body, so you couldn't reabsorb it into your meat. Now is is yeah right? I have to absorb it into my meat, so I'm primed and ready for a game of meat slam. Meat slam, but. <laughs> But is Gamer Juice like, is it like electrolytes? Is there a drink I can chug or a, a snack I can have to get it back? I believe that's Monster Energy Drink. Would yeah, it I be believe Monster that... or would it be G Fuel? Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about G Fuel. Ah, uh, I guess, well, Monster is trying to market to gamers, and I know this because yes. I played uh, Death Stranding. So is Red Bull, actually. Are they? They're both doing it, yeah. Um... I, don't, I don't know if you, uh, did you play the Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remakes that came out? Just now? Uh, no, no, I never okay. got. Uh, I I meant to. But, uh. Okay, so if you play those games, like they obviously do a pretty knowledgeable job of bringing in like skateboarding brands that make sense. Like, okay, yeah, a lot of skaters wear like Adidas, and a lot of skaters wear like uh, these fashion brands or these skateboarding brands, whatever. But then about a third of the game is Red Bull, Monster Energy, um. There's like five or six other energy drinks in that game. And it's just, that's all they want. They want the kids to be consuming the fucking energy drinks. And I don't, I don't believe that athletes, I guess skate, are skateboarders at athletes. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, so, so athletes are not skateboarders, but are skateboarders athletes? Mm, y yeah. Yeah, that's my question. They, they, they have to be, right? I mean, I, I, I I never really seen somebody who was like, I guess, obese uh, skateboarding because mm -hmm. you have to you have to like do tricks and flips and stuff and you need to be in shape to do them, I guess. Are there fat skateboarders? That's a good question. I feel like it's got to be harder to do the tricks and shit if you're overweight. Well, you could snap the fucking board in half. Potentially, if you land on it the wrong way. But then I think you're also right. slap it, snapping your fucking ankle in half at that point. If you're <laughs> snapping the skateboard in half, you got bigger problems, I think. But what I'm saying is, I don't think athletes drink that shit. That's a, that's a good point. Because it's insanely unhealthy. Right? It's just like an ass load of sugar and caffeine and all kinds of stuff that fucks yeah. your body up. I mean, I mean, a single Monster Energy is like, what, 160 calories It's like or a, mu a month's worth of calories yeah. and shit. It's like, nah. And that much mm. sugar and caffeine, it's like... Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> I got meat slammed, Andrew. Oh, you were playing competitive meat slam. I got meat. I got meat slammed. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I just want to. Oh, honey, it's been such a long day at work. I think I think today I'll take the kids out in the backyard and play a good old fashioned full contact game of meat slam with them. <laughs> Throw the pig skin around. Yeah, get, we'll slap the skin. Slap you know, the skin. Traditionally, skins. as meat skin would, as meat skin would meat attest. Skin. 
meat skin. Buddy, no, quick, that's a, that's... Get, get the traditional grease. I'm gonna play a game of meat slam with the kids. I was ah! slather up the kids. Fuck! Slather them up. It's time for meat slam. Are you still in the game? Yeah, but since that All was right, the first, I'll keep going. Since I, that was I the was first like... one, I backed out because that was the it was the first fucking rounds. Fuck it. Oh, okay. I, I was literally, like, my left butt cheek was on the finish line, and the game <laughs> said, no, you've been eliminated. That's painful. I'm so it sorry. Hurt. It's okay. We can just re <laughs> I really love half banana, half hot dog. Cause, like, it's it could, good luck, man. It, it could work somehow. Like, like, maybe... Yeah, if you took a hot dog and you put banana on it as a topping, mm -hmm. would that would that suck? I don't think that would suck. That'd be like a... That you like just a tropical came up with hot a dog. Genius idea. Yeah, let's, like a Hawaiian start, hot dog type of a thing. So let's start a food court, or no, not a food court, a food truck. Uh -huh. You know how food trucks are known for doing like one thing and doing weird shit with it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, here's yeah. what we do. Here's what we do. We offer deluxe portable bananas. Mm -hmm. So we take a bun, put a banana yeah. in it, and then go. Would you like some peanut butter on that? Maybe some chocolate syrup. How about some sprinkles? I'd eat that. I would eat that. Would you? Yeah, but, but but no 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 meat though. Well, no meat. I mean, I guess we'll offer like pork fat if you want to go crazy. <laughs> just lard, just yeah, straight up we lard. Yeah, we deep fry it too if you want to go nuts. We'll deep fry it in hot dog water. Ah, uh, we'll call it Elv the Elvis, right? <laughs> the Elvis Presley. Fuck. Yeah, you get bacon strips on it. I I actually would do this. You you make a banana like snack truck, uh -huh. and you serve it on a on a maybe a sweet Hawaiian roll so it fits the whole dessert theme. Exactly. Yeah. And just cover. You could like offer chocolate sauce or whipped cream or peanut butter. I think this is an actually good idea. This would fucking work. I, this would I work. I think it's a good idea. Actually. And if if I'd you had it. if you had the hot dog on it, it would fucking it would still it would still rock. I think if yeah, you put, well yeah yeah if you put the actual like sausage on it. It would it would still work. It'd be cool. Yeah, It'd be well, like a sweet we'll and savory a thing. The menu will have an item called the original, and it'll be a half hot dog, half banana in a hamburger in a hot dog <laughs> yeah. hot dog bun. Yeah. And then we'll we'll mix it up sometimes. We'll have like the healthy the healthy choice. It'll have like toothpaste in it. <laughs> toothpaste in yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's good for your teeth. Right. Exactly. We'll, we'll uh, have the do it. We'll do. We'll have the do it at home <laughs> kit. It'll come toothpaste. soaked in oil, and you can fry it at home in your own deep fryer. This is a good idea. Oh, uh, why, why, why do I love the idea of toothpaste on the hot dog? <laughs> oh fuck! So because it's a horrendous idea. <laughs> you you reminded me of something I, I just saw on Twitter. Um, it it said that the Universal Studios of Japan mm -hmm. is gonna sell uh, fruit pa pancake fruit sandwiches. That sounds amazing. That are based on like Mario and and Luigi or something. I have I put a picture of oh, it. Oh, I, the, in I the, in saw the... I saw that article. Yeah, I skimmed that headline. And it's like, what do you mean it's a sandwich? How is it a sandwich? Isn't it just? Uh, it looks like a taco we... to me. It looks like. Are we bringing back that old meme of is a pop tart a sandwich? Is it is a, a hot dog a sandwich? Are we bringing that back? They're calling this sandwiches, but it's a dessert sandwich. Like, it looks like it's just a pancake that's fruit-flavored, but it's in a taco shape, and they put a shitload of, of whipped cream in it and some fruit on it. Okay. But a dessert sandwich? I don't know if I'm down with using the word sandwich to des describe something that's, that's a, like a dessert or like a, like a, a that treat. That sounds like a, like a pastry or a, or a crepe or something. Yeah, that's what that reminds you of, a crepe. But it's like yeah. a thick, it's like a thick crepe. I want one of those. I'm, I'm very intrigued by that. Too. I'd like to see what's going. I know about ice cream sandwiches. That's the only thing I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give a pass to chat. I'll give a I... pass to ice cream sandwiches. But that's. I've been eating like a good boy lately for the last like couple months. But now you're just with this whole conversation putting me in the mood to eat the most disgusting, gnarly, unsavory garbage I could think of. It's been going good though. You're just you're, you're dieting and, and and all that. How's that working? Oh out? yeah, it's it's working well. But it's like now I just want to take like a stick of butter, and like I don't know, roll it around in some breadcrumbs and deep fry it, <laughs> and then take like a big chunk out of it and see what happens. Roll it around in breadcrumbs and deep fry it. Oh. Yeah, man. Put the whipped cream on top. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe the bacon strips as well. You know how it is. 
you would you would wrap the bacon strips around the stick of butter, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm pretty Who sure that's like butter. That's the meal that like killed Adam Richman from Man vs. Food. <laughs> that's dead? the thing that finally did him in. <laughs> I don't I don't know well, did, that did, he's did you dead. See what happened with him though? No, nah, what happened? So, I haven't heard anything so... about this guy forever. That's why I assumed he was dead. What happened? Oh, so Adam Richmond. Adam Richmond's an amazing human specimen. So have you you've watched Man vs. Food, right? Oh, like, tons you know, of just... it. Yeah. Okay, so Man vs. Fruit is a show where Adam Richmond goes to these fucking restaurants and he sits down and he goes, I'm going to eat 18 hamburgers slathered in syrup. And then the next episode, I'm going to eat a wagon full of refried beans. And then he did it. And he did all this for three seasons. Mm -hmm. And he gained 40 pounds. And then for the rest of the show, I think it's done now, but for the rest of the show, he would literally bring on guests to eat the food for him because he became so catastrophically unhealthy. <laughs> so and everyone was like, how could this possibly have happened? Oh my god. We couldn't Adam, have seen this coming, yeah. <laughs> what what the fuck, Adam? What do you mean you don't want to keep doing the show because your heart stopped? So Come on, Adam. He, he at one point had other people eating the food. I didn't know that. Yeah, for like the last two seasons of the show, he would bring in guests to do the challenges for him. Because he was so <laughs> fat and unhealthy, he didn't want to eat it anymore. Well, the thing was, these were challenge food challenges that were put forth by the restaurants, right? That too, yeah. So, it, was, it was very much a, if you eat all this, it's free type deal. And it's like, I should 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 those exist really? Like in a, in a fucking civilized society? Like should should there be food challenges? Like is that like is that okay? I feel like that's dangerous and irresponsible. Mike, Maybe. Mike. Yeah. I, I I think you're saying the most anti-American fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah yeah. I feel myself turning like a little bit. I'm getting a little bit Frenchier as I say this. I think I think is where <laughs> I'm going. Um, I'm turning a little bit more. Yeah. You know what? But I think it it might be in the in the interest of America. So actually, what at first might sound like it's being unpatriotic, it's actually it is patriotic. Maybe explain. I'd love to because hear because your, your, uh... you, you know I don't want people to 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 die or get Again, you know un-American. Uh, uh... Keep going. <laughs> Fair, yeah, very very un-American to me, yeah. But if if uh. You know, if your arteries get clogged and, and fucked up from these food challenges, I mean, look, we got... So I guess you're... you're what you're inevitably going to say to me is, Adam Richman... He is had the american he, yes. He, no, well, he had the freedom to be able to do that uh, to his own body, right? So that right. that's what, you know, that's what makes it beautiful. That's what that's what it's all about, that right there. Right. Adam Richman is beautiful, right. He is a beautiful man. I really did enjoy that show. I really want to believe yeah, he's I dead now, based I on really, this conversation. I, think, I, I assumed he was. Like I just, because I, I, I couldn't see how he could be alive after some of the things that I witnessed on that TV show. My, uh, my favorite thing about that was the meme that came out when, like, the paparazzi photographed him at like 300 pounds, and it just says like, "In this battle of man versus food, food wins." <laughs> food won. Yeah, I think it. I think we have a clear winner here, a clear undisputed winner. I'll take that butt plug. Thank you. Are you a, are you a regular food show guy, Mike? You sound like the kind of guy to just regularly watch some cooking shows and shit. You know, I used to a lot, uh, and then it's just um, I don't I don't know now now I don't really uh, I don't really anymore. I don't know why. Uh, hold on, I, I I'm having a hard time focusing on this game and having this conversation oh, yeah, with man. you there's, for some reason. There's like no people right now, so it's everyone's gunning for blood. Also, the servers suck shit. Yeah, somebody stole my butt plug from like the other oh, side God, of the fucking I love stage. Those images, the little butt plug tails. Yeah, you oh, saw nothing, the you, you saw the comic, right? Arousing. Well, I'm I got fucked. Out. Fuck. Yeah, I got I'm out too. Despite putting every ounce of focus into trying to do that, I got. Fuck, that's man. my least favorite mini game in this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it's so. It's not great. Yeah, I think the the I, was, the. I was trying to pull out the butt plug so I could be super embarrassed and go, oh. Uh, your, <laughs> your butt plug seems to have Ooh. fallen out, ma'am. Uh -huh, tee hee. What if I put it in my <laughs> butt? Oh, oh boy. Uh oh, senpai. <laughs> Looks yeah, like your butt plug fell out. I forgot out. to mention she's a fucking Japanese schoolgirl. Yeah, that of course. Important. Of course she is. What else would she be? So what had happened was, uh, at, at this point in my life, what I was trying to say, cable television makes me irrationally angry. 
I agree. Like I can't, I can't sit there and watch it. Like I can't, I don't like being bombarded with the fucking advertisements. I agree. Like I just, it's, it's. You sit down to watch, like even, even something on Food Network is a perfect example. If I sit down to watch a fucking thirty-minute show, fifteen yeah. minutes of that are spent looking at the same like four oh. advertisements over and over. Oh, Mike, it's it's worse than that. The shows themselves are built around that formula. So let's let's say we're watching the Food Network, you and I, as yeah. we hang out in real life all the time. We're watching the Food Network, and fucking yeah. Cupcake Wars comes on. So here's here's the first third of Cupcake Wars. I'm here to win. I'm gonna make cupcakes. I'm gonna do a good job. I can't wait to see the challenge. Okay, contestants. After all this buildup, your challenge is. Then you go to commercial. Then you have four minutes of commercials. Mm -hmm. Then the commercials end. And he comes back and he goes, here's your cupcake challenge. And then everyone sees it and they go, I think I can take the, on this challenge. I think I can do it. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm ready to win this challenge. And they go, your time starts now. And commercial. then you have four <laughs> minutes of commercials. Yeah. And then the show comes back and they, they finally show some content. Oh, they're doing the, the cupcake challenge. They're talking about their process. They're, they're going through all the ideas. They're showing their build. And then there's the and stop. And then you have four minutes of commercials. And then they get to the judging, which is like a minute of content stretched to the entire last 15 minutes of the show. And then the credits roll as fast as possible to start the next episode. <laughs> and you think, oh, well, that's nice of them. They overlay the credits and speed them up. So that way the next episode just immediately starts. But it's a trick because the next episode <laughs> is just the intro of the show and then four <laughs> minutes of commercials. Dude. It is the worst fucking scam I have ever seen on the face of the earth. And I have not watched cable oh. TV for the last decade, and I have never missed it. Okay, so I don't need to... Yeah, you, you clearly, you get it. Yeah. And it's like, it would be yeah. one thing, like, if it was just... And it, it pisses me off enough that I'm sitting there fucking watching commercials the entire time. But you, you bring up a really good fucking point. The fact that the commercials are in there, it impacts the quality of what you're fucking watching. Like, correct. it's an also insult correct. to your fucking intelligence. The, yeah. the, the, the fucking show, the product suffers to accommodate the advertisement bombardment. There is a reason that when Netflix originals were first coming up, even if they were dog shit, you people watch them. flocked yeah. to them. Yeah. Because, because on, yeah. A Netflix yeah. original, on a Netflix original, you have two characters and they're talking and they go, I just, here's my dramatic reveal. But I didn't know you had a dramatic reveal. Let's talk about it. Whereas on regular drama shows, it's here's my dramatic reveal. And then the other character stares blankly. And then there's a and music then you hit. Get four minutes of commercials. Right. Don't forget and the, the then music they hit, come though. come back to talk about it. But not until that happens first. You know what you reminded me worst. of with this? My, my favorite, my hands down favorite example of this has to be all the bullshit, like, cryptid hunting and, and fucking ghost hunting shows where before every commercial, they find Bigfoot. They find them at every fucking time. There's a commercial. Holy shit, what was that? Oh my god, look at the FLIR cam! And then they cut to the footage of the FLIR, the FLIR cam, and then you see the fucking bushes move, and then there'll actually be, like, a sound effect that they edit in where it's like... Ugh. Like you hear the fucking, you hear the Bigfoot, and you're like, holy shit, they finally fucking found them. All I have to do is sit through four more minutes of commercials before you know, I you, discover the greatest zoological discovery of the 21st century right here in real time. You know what I love that's very similar to and that? They never I find love the ghost hunt, I love the ghost hunting shows, because the ghost hunting shows have one trick every time. So they have. They tell you the story of the ghost. They tell you why it's haunted. They yeah. interview the people with the stories. They do little reenactments. They do all this stuff. Ghost hunting shows. It is the. It is right before the final commercial break. They do this every single time. They're in the house or in the building. They're all looking around. They got their cameras, and someone will walk around, and all of a sudden something will happen. Like. He'll look down and go, guys, 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 we got a reading here. We got a reading. Or there'll be a loud noise and they'll go, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? And then they'll immediately cut to four oh minutes of commercials. God. Oh, my God. Then, what was that? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then they'll cut uh. to the commercials. And when they come back, all of the tension is completely gone. <laughs> and and someone will show up and they'll go, sorry, guys, I, I dropped a light. All right. <laughs> uh, Oh, uh, there was, it, I was looking at the cameras. It looks like there was a possum that got on the wiring. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. And then the team has to scramble to go, well, we didn't find the ghost tonight, but I'm willing to bet that some presence was in that room. And it's like nothing fucking happened. It's, it's the biggest insult to your intelligence that oh, you'll, yeah. e you'll ever fucking experience. It's like I really don't understand how the people who watch those things like seriously can actually tolerate it. I like know. just being insulted over and over and over and, and and over. It's like why do you, why do they do that to themselves? Like I I have I have pity for these fucking people. You know I yeah. think a lot, I think it's a lot, it's a lot of boomers and like just just elderly people. Oh absolutely. Who who just who, who don't stop to think get, about the quality of what they're fucking d d they're looking at. You know. There are ones that I get where it's like it's like bad television. For example, Big Bang Theory which I believe now is like the most popular comedy show of all time. Uh, I get it. Makes sense. It, it has some jokes. You're talking about sit it's sitcoms, very, yeah. It's broadly appealing. Yeah, sitcoms or comedies that are very similar. I get it. Makes sense. People watch it. And yeah, yeah, it's loaded with commercials and very, very cliche shit. And it's not very funny. But I get it. I, I watch it in similar, like, personality-driven comedies. Like, ah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking two girls or whatever the fuck it's called. Ah, okay, fine. Makes sense. At least you're getting something where it's like, okay, it's mildly entertaining. Even if it's not funny, there's a story to follow. But with reality stuff like that, where there's two minutes of content at the most stretched to an hour loaded with commercials, how in the fuck can I you just stand assumed, watching that? I don't get it. I assume that th those people just, like, enjoy watching commercials. That has to be, that's the only explanation. Maybe they do. Maybe. You know, they come back from that last commercial break right before the, the oh my god, we got a reading on the thingometer, you know, and then they go to the commercial break, and then you see the little meter freaking out commercial break, and then it comes back, and yeah, look, we, 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 we'll get them next time. And then they're you sitting there my, and they're uh, like, I don't, you know, I don't particularly feel like I gained anything from this experience. I don't feel any richer by it. You know, I don't yeah. feel like I've gained anything, but boy, could I go for a Travis Scott burger from McDonald's right now? My, my favorite, well, let me, let me talk about that after this, but my uh. favorite thing, my favorite test for a show to immediately tell whether or not it's worth watching and the reality show test will fail every time. Name your favorite episode. Right, if you can't, there's a problem. Yeah, because uh, uh. if there's a reality show, 95% of viewers don't even remember any of the episodes they watch. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I like the episode where there was the ghost at the school and there wasn't. Oh, yeah? Which <laughs> one? Because there's four episodes where that happened. You know, I imagine a ghost hunter episode is not going to make an impact on you when they, you know, don't find a ghost. And which they never do because ghosts don't exist, do they? Yeah. Now, now let's talk about the Travis Scott ad. Mike... <laughs> I, I want to I want to get your opinion on the Travis Scott ad, and I I want to I want to see if you uh, figured out where I'm going. Okay. So the Travis Scott ad that's on Twitch, it, it's annoying. I mean, every time you click on a new fucking stream, you know it plays, and it's that 15, 20 second long of him explaining what the meal is. Yeah. I have one problem with that ad that that just one huh? ruins my goddamn life, and my chat is already spoiling the punchline. I'm not. They, I, I've I, talked I, about this a lot. I'm not. I'm not looking. You could. You can. So I'm, so I'm the Travis look. Scott ad. Is, is insulting on every single level because they're literally selling you products that were already on the McDonald's menu. They've <laughs> added absolutely nothing new to it. They are already selling what they had in their inventory at a markup because Travis Scott says to buy it. Very insulting, very lazy. Also <laughs> one of the most successful marketing campaigns of all time. Why? It's an incredible cultural phenomenon. But the thing that I hate about it, the thing that makes me want to rip my hair out, that I literally like have to mute my computer if that ad ever plays, Travis Scott, I don't know what it is, but the way that man says, I dip them in the barbecue sauce, is the most infuriating thing I've ever heard. I dip them in the barbecue sauce. I, I dip them in the barbecue sauce. I'm Travis Scott, this is my quarter pounder with- It's like he's fine up until that point. I'm Travis Scott, this is my quarter pounder with pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, bacon. I'm like, okay, Travis Scott, thank you for describing a burger. But then, and here's my fries. And I'm like, oh, what, what, what do you do with those fries, Travis Scott? He goes, I did them in the barbecue sauce. What? I did them in the barbecue sauce. I hate it. It's this weird, like, he sounds like a shy fifth grader giving a book report. I did them it the fucking barbecue. destroys my I, soul I, every I time I hear- I did the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Travis, Travis, honey, you're gonna need to speak up if you want to tell everyone what you do with your fries. 
It's one word, too. It's not, I dip them in the barbecue sauce. It's, a <laughs> sauce. oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucking hate it. It drives me insane. I don't know why. It's the one thing about that ad I can't listen to. <laughs> So I, I didn't know. <sighs> no, but I, that's my take on the ad. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I fucking I I haven't I haven't heard this part of the advertisement because I don't watch it. Like I just fucking I just, I, I don't let's just I have my headphones off or it's fucking muted. Like I haven't sat through the whole commercial and given it my 100 percent attention because right. I refuse to. Here's what fucking gets me about it, dude. All right. Um, I, I get the next time I see it, I'll, I'll pay more. I'll pay attention to it, so I can listen to this. But the way you're describing it sounds absolutely fucking infuriating. So I'm oh, likely, it's... likely I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. But it is not a good thing to hear. I'll tell you that. Here's my problem. Travis Scott. He's a rapper, right? What, what, what makes this burger a rap-themed burger? How is it a Travis Scott? Meal. What makes it a Travis Scott meal? What makes it? Yeah. What sets it apart from 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 a, a regular burger and a regular fries? Why is it his? How is it? How is it his? Because it's got lettuce and bacon on it. Things that were already available in the kitchen. I want to know how you make a a burger that he shouldn't. There, there shouldn't be a Travis Scott burger. Is what is what I'm fucking saying. I completely. There agree. shouldn't be. There, 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 this is a. a a sponsorship, I get. What's the word for it? A crossover, a promotion. Yeah. That shouldn't I, exist. That has no it, reason it to exist. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like I, I understand sponsorships. Totally not a problem. Hey, I am a famous racer, or or a famous basketball player, or a famous whatever. If you want your product's name slapped on my ass because you know people are gonna see my ass, perfect. <laughs> but I I will never understand. Buy product because famous person said so. Yeah, right? I don't get that. I really, I will never get that. Like, oh, okay, so Travis Scott, why should I suddenly want a quarter pounder because Travis Scott likes it? I, I would wager a lot of people like the quarter pounder. It's one of the most famous hamburgers of all time. This is dumb as shit. Why do I have to like it now that this guy likes it? I don't get it. So that's it's the thing that sponsorships are fine. If you are like a person and they go, oh, uh, I want to thank McDonald's for sponsoring this podcast or sponsoring this event or whatever. That's totally fine. That's perfectly fine. But you can't say like uh, you should buy this hamburger because oh, I like yeah. it because I'm famous. Yeah, it shouldn't be that easy. And exactly. I mean, I don't know, like, why? Why does his opinion matter? It's like he. he... Exactly. So you so, so you mean to tell me that Travis Scott? likes putting nourishment into his body travis scott likes mcdonald's oh my god like that's what a rebel that's the thing that's gonna get people to, to, to fuck. if if you're the type of person who doesn't eat fucking fast food travis scott eating it is not gonna be like holy shit i gotta get to mcdonald's right now because travis scott eats a fucking hamburger is travis scott known for fucking like competitive hamburger eating is he like Adam he Adam Richmond, but he raps? Like, like what wait, wait. really insensitive, and he's known for that. Chad, is he known for that? Because <laughs> then, then I will just eat every single one of my words along with a big fat dick. I will eat every single one of those syllables and then wash it down with the big fat dick, Chad. <laughs> you know, he's known for dipping them in the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Like here, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it on my stream. I got fan art last night of someone who drew Travis Scott as like a fucking serial killer. He dips his dicks into barbecue he, sauce. It, it's what did you do with all the bodies, Scott? And it's I dipped them in the barbecue sauce. Cause the way he says it is so fucking demented. It's the I gotta fucking I, I never thought I would say this before. Sentences I never thought would come out of my mouth. How can I watch the Travis Scott burger commercial right now? Oh my god. Uh, go to another stream because Twitch will not stop playing it. <laughs> just... They calmed down with it after like the first week though, didn't they? they there's like something else I, that they, they I found think like they an. I because oh, so there's... many fucking people complained about it. Dude, there's a Yeetus in the middle of the. Are you oh yeah, I'm going for you're it. You're still in this, fuck. Yeah, you're in two, baby. Damn. Uh, you're in two. That's what we did last night. You're uh, in two. The yeah. sequel to Urine. Sure, piss Clean, is cool. Cleaner, fresher. But have, have you seen piss too? <laughs> this is not good. 
Oh, yeah. Put the balls oh, right I'm in, in my face. Fuck yeah. I'm in first. I'm in the lead. This is mine. All right. Well, I'm getting uh, balls in my face, so... God I'm not going to go for the hammer. I'm going to go safe because I want to win. Playing it safe? Yeah, I'm playing oh, it I can't baby. believe you fucking made it up there. What? Oh, oh no. I missed the jump. I got it. I won. Fuck! Yeah, baby! Easy game. How many crowns do you have? Uh, total, like, 35. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have that many, too. Ha ha ha. To be fair, I was <laughs> obsessed with this game when it came out. I played it for, like, two weeks straight on stream every single time. So Did you? I, uh. I've actually... Let me, let me see how many hours... So, how many hours in it? Steam tells you. How many hours do you have in this game? Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. Let's compare. Uh, yeah, because if we have the same amount of hours and you have 35 crowns and I have 13, that means that I'm bad. Uh, How many you got? Let me... We, you go to the the page you, for the game. Just the fall, game page in your, liber in your library. Uh, yeah. Fall, guys, I have 52... Uh, sorry, 54 hours I have. Okay, see, I have 78. And I, I think I should still have more, though. I think. Well, we're going to get you one now. Now that I got my win, I'm going to focus on trying to get you a win. Is that really you would do that for me, man? Well, yeah. Like that, it's the, only the, fun if everyone gets a win. Involves you sabotaging other people in order that to help me. That is literally what I'm going to do. We're going to both gonna get work? to the finals, and I'm going to try to knock out other people. It sounds tough. To win. It sounds hard. <laughs> it's going to be fine. You know, I like I liked stop animation prior to seeing that Travis Scott commercial, and now I don't like it anymore. It, like, ruined it it's, for me. It's uh, awful, isn't it? It's terrible it's, stop anima it's, it's, animation. It's an incredible marketing campaign because nothing about the meal is enticing or interesting or unique or worth buying. And then the commercial is just, hi, I'm Travis Scott. Here's my meal. I dip the, it the in the barbecue commercial sauce. commercial is over. So it was because... It, okay, so if, if you order the Travis Scott meal, you get all the items that already existed, but they are cheaper. Is that is that somebody in chat I, said that? I don't right? even know if it's cheaper because how much is a, isn't a quarter pounder on the dollar menu? I don't know because I don't eat fucking garbage. So, uh, uh, fries <laughs> fries are on the dollar menu and a drink is like a dollar. So if the quarter pounder is worth more than four dollars, then it's cheaper. But it's, I guess it, because you add lettuce and bacon. Ooh, look out. Stand back. <laughs> I put lettuce and bacon on my burger. Okay. Hello, you want to you want a fucking medal? Travis Scott. I would love to introduce you to my glorified cheeseburger. I include lettuce and bacon not commonly found on what the menu. What the fuck? And what? here are my french fries. Like past tense, and also they've been enjoy french. my Sprite. They've been french. He fucking jammed his tongue that's, into the fries that's the other thing that fucking kills me though because like i okay i get it yeah all right you get fries barbecue sauce you don't have to do that all right he likes the quarter pounder they could have so easily given him a special drink add add a like flavor to the sprite like and here's my cherry sprite or something they so easily could have made that the special thing, like try the new Travis Scott Sprite. It's got fucking like Hawaiian punch mixed in. It's got ice we stole from the urinal. Something. <laughs> but they didn't even do that. He, he, Travis Scott fucking kicks in your door and goes, did you get the Sprite with my meal? And you, the consumer <laughs> who's fat and happy goes, well, Mr. Scott, what t sort of Sprite will I be consuming? And he like pulls off his sunglasses and goes, regular. <laughs> it's like whoa, whoa let slow down, down. You know? whoa regular sprite down. and hold on we need we need to we need to back it up here for a minute beep 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 <laughs> lettuce on the burger that too lettuce Why? lettuce what a concept holy shit Every, everyone knows the greatest way to get crunch and flavor on a burger is pickles everyone knows that like that's common knowledge I really enjoy pickles on, on burgers. Pickles are really so am. goddamn good on everything. Yeah, I everything. really like pickles. I really like pickles on burgers. Like, uh, like onions? Onions are great, too. I could deal I without them, though. But if you give me a burger without pickles, I'm going to give you a pop in the lip. Because pickles <laughs> are so fucking good. I love pickles so fucking much. Tell me your uh, your dream burger. What's what's your perfect burger? What's on there? Oh, man. All right. Are we going, like, regular burger? Or are we going, like, out there wild and crazy? Uh, let's let's start with with regular burger, like sane burger, right. you know. All right, regular burger. I'm a pretty I'm a pretty straightforward camper. Ketchup, mustard, cheese, pickles, onion. 
I I think that's for a standard burger. That's solid right there. That's that respectable. But did you say yeah. must mustard? Oh, I love mustard, dude. But mustard's so good. Ketchup and and mustard bo both together, like on the burger. Ketchup is and mustard. A uh, is there a problem here? What's wrong with mustard? The best I condiment. I think you feel like one condiment, like either or, and also. Okay. Yeah, just just put both both of them like mixed up in there, getting all getting all comfy with each other, and you know. I could okay. see ketchup and okay. mayo because that that's the fancy sauce, right? Okay. The ketchup right, and the mayo, right. but well, mustard ketchup and, and ketchup. Yeah, ketchup right? and mayo is pink sauce. Ketchup and mayo is pretty common. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will deal without mayo on a or Jesus. I'll deal without mustard on a burger because McDonald's kind of does have the standard formula down: onions, pickles, ketchup, cheese. Like that's. That's good. Mustard is kind of... I'll, I'll give it... I'll give and take it. Okay. My key is, though, I don't go for mayo on burgers. I, okay. I really don't. I, I will eat a nice little turkey sandwich, put some mayo on there. Nicely okay. done. Put some mayo on, on all sorts of stuff. But burgers, I'm kind of like... Hey. Yeah, I could, I could respect. I could respect that. Not wanting yeah. mayo on on a burger. I can. I can. And I typically. That that's not on my. You know, my ideal burger doesn't doesn't have mm -hmm. mayo on it. Um, but I feel like if you, mu mustard to me feels like a hot dog condiment and not a bur a burger condiment. I respect that. But let me ask you a question. Yeah. How do you go? into the realm of uh hot dogs like what's your all right what's your ideal hot dog all right i really like the chopped up um like red onion uh it's called like re relish like the onion the fucking i don't know what it's actually called but it's like the red sauce if the onions in the red sauce and it's all diced up whatever that shit is pickled red onion that p pickled red onion i like that yeah. shit i like that shit a lot actually uh i do like sauerkraut I would put mustard on that. But see, those three things, I might not necessarily want them all together. Like, I might be like, I'm going to have two hot dogs, and one of them is going to have the red shit on it, and the other one is going to have the sauerkraut on it. Now, Mike, aren't you from New York? You know what I'm saying? I am. So you have a lot of opinions on a hot dog. You know what, though? I don't, I don't go for those dirty water, like, street vendor hot dogs, to be honest. Mm. To the but extent that's a New York authentic hot to, dog. To the extent that it, it is, but it's also, you know, fucking man like, sweat. You like know? a New York authentic hot dog has to make you cough with every second bite. <laughs> yeah. Like that's yeah, the so. only way that it's truly from New York. I guess. And it's like I you know, I, I think maybe I, I got over it early in life, you know, and I, I feel like those vendors may not have the best uh quality. Like I just again, like I, I think about good I think about the dirty water dogs and I immediately I think about like <laughs> A fucking Iranian man sweat. Oh, I'm out. Oh fuck. I'm not paying attention. Me too. I, I heard Iranian man sweat and I just could yeah, not focus like, on and, the game anymore. And I ran and I an elderly Iranian man. Yeah. And the his the hot dog and, and, has his and, his sweat and body hair on it. And and when you go to tip him, yeah. all he does is puts up his big hairy arm that's yeah. got a wristwatch on it uh, cheap wristwatch mm -hmm. and he just goes no 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 like he he speaks he speaks good english but when you go to tip him he just goes no 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 sir no 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 thank you no 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 because he's a you know because he's a he's a he's an astute businessman he just loves what he does he loves providing hot dogs his yeah. uh, you, you, that's a nice touch. The knockoff wristwatch he absolutely would have, like the kind that the kind that stains his wrist green when he takes <laughs> he it to, when he, he takes has to it take off. Take it yeah. off when he showers. So yeah. He get yeah, 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 yeah. That, <laughs> that, and I think about all that, and I'm like, I don't want that on my hot dog. Like I, like I'd rather just go buy hot dogs and make them at home. Cause you see that like that fucking yeah. thing that he opened. Like God knows what's going on in there, man. Well, you, like God you knows what's going on, on in that this, fucking right? that, that hot dog this, water. Right? I don't know how you do it, but you can make a comparable hot dog at home, but you can never make a one-to-one -one burger at home. Like you can you can go on the street, get a hot dog from a vendor, eat it, and then go home and make a fucking hot dog from a frozen pack from the store, and it will taste nearly identical. Yeah. It, yeah. Like especially if you use the same condom condiments. Yeah. But if you go to a restaurant or a fast food place and you go, all right. I'm going to eat a fucking Whopper or a McDonald's burger or whatever, and you try to replicate it at home, it will taste completely fucking differently. It'd probably be better than a fucking fast food burger. Well, better than Burger King, I that's mean, for sure. Hey-oh! Burger who? 
uh, burger dog shit is more like it. Ooh, I said it. I don't do uh, I don't do any fast food, Andrew. Well, I was, no, I was no. actually going to ask on a follow-up, what no. is your least favorite fast food? But I guess all of them is your answer. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do, I don't do any of that shit. I mean, if I, if I'm going to fucking, like, get, no, like, if I'm going to go out for a burger, dude, I don't even, I'm not even going to go to, like, Five Guys. I'm going to go to, wow, like, a small business, like, restaurant, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go to, like, a fucking chain restaurant. And get, maybe, 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 maybe a casual dining burger, but don't. Don't tell anybody I said that because I'm supposed to be killing the the casual dining as as a millennial, so I'm not supposed to eat there. Mm -hmm. So don't don't tell anybody. Uh, but that that, that the, even that would be like a second choice. You know what I mean? Like going to Chili's and getting a burger or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, Are I would you're... rather go to yeah, just just some fucking like small business like place that makes whatever that like, has a big menu or hopefully like a burger place. You know. I, I mean, I, I totally agree. Like, or a I, I, I agree diner. with everything you are saying. Yes, I would rather get Calm. a restaurant's food than a fast food place's food. But you still got to have opinions on some of them. You have to have tried them. I've tried you know? them. I'm so gonna what say, is, in your experience, if someone says, Mike, you, you got to eat a fast minutes, food burger? You got five minutes till this gay porn is filming. We need you on set. There are every fast food restaurant known to man and nothing else is nearby and will be delivered quick enough for you to get your calories for your plow session. What are you what are you gonna say no to? You what do are you need, gonna say just don't buy me this? You do need a lot of calories for a plow sesh. Um Yeah. You know you know why I genuinely can't fucking answer this? Why? Because I, I don't the last time I had a fast food burger, I was probably in fucking high school. So like five no, four months ago? <laughs> I'm a late bloomer, dude. As you judge, welcome back to the that family. That GED was real hard for you, man. I, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who subbed. I saw a lot of people subbed and resubbed and gift subbed, and I just didn't want to interrupt Andrew and all that. But So thank you for the subs, guys. I appreciate oh, it. Yeah, thank I, you. I just glanced at my sub box for the first time, and there's like, someone gave a gift sub to Travis Scott, so that's <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that, whoever that was. There you go. I'll tell you what one thing one thing I do remember and I I was talking about this recently and that's probably why I remembered because I kept it fresh. The chicken mm. sandwich at Burger King. Oh boy. I liked. I remember wow. like 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 an You like a sponge I remember, with breading on it? Yeah, I liked the sponge, yeah. Yeah. Oy. Would I eat that today? No. No. Thank but you. I remember liking that when I was younger and I and I didn't know any better. I mean you I know? I loved fast food growing up, man. I ate that shit like Four five days a week, like I loved it, but I get you. You ever bite the the McDonald's uh, chicken nugget and and look at the inside of it? Oh, I love that shit, man. Every time I get nuggets, I always save one to just like experiment with and like <laughs> go. What are you made of, really? Yeah. What is this? What's really going on in here, right? Is this chicken? Cause I don't know, man. It might not be. You ever hear the urban legend about the uh, you know the, the fast food chicken, like how they how they make them? How they make the chickens? The pink juice? Uh, well, the, the pink juice was the beef, if I remember correctly. Well, pink and juice that was is real, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, you... That's that's not yeah. an urban legend. That's that was the thing that that you know got exposed, yeah. if you will. Right. So, oh, so, yeah. So I, I just figured out what we're running on in this fucking game right now. Anyway. Oh no! The nuggets. Yeah. So, I had heard. I was told that all of the chickens for these fast food restaurants, right? Uh -huh. are genetically engineered yes to not have like beaks or eyes okay you're you're losing me they don't have beaks or eyes and they don't have feet and the reason for that is because if they if they had beaks and they would peck each other and if they had eyes then they would get like their their eyes pecked out right okay would you like yeah. to hear here where you were like so close but it's actually real go, yeah yeah go ahead so, how it's so made this is nuggets. this is the how it's actually made so he knows guys oh baby i so part of the reason here i'll give you some backstory part of the reason i started how it's actually made is because i i watch documentaries all the time i love learning stuff mm -hmm. so i figured oh i'll just make fun of like educational shit because yeah, i yeah. know a lot about it yeah. so nuggets are typically ground up chickens that are too old to lay eggs that oh. are genetically modified to have giant, giant breasts. <laughs> the biggest <laughs> fucking chicken titties you can think of. And, um... Ah, the grannies. You're, you're, you're eating the grannies. 
Here's another fun fact. The reason that nuggets are so cheap and look so cheap is that McDonald's, through subsidizing and through government workouts and all these different deals, McDonald's buys an entire chicken mm -hmm. for five cents. Wow. So think how much McNuggets come from one chicken. They buy the entire chicken from their fucking little, like, government programs and their food processing line for a nickel. Nickel chickens. Holy so shit. So that's how McNuggets are so goddamn cheap. And when they toss the old granny chickens into the, the grinder, they leave the bones uh -huh. in and shit or what? I think they actually... Do don't well look if or... you're if you're reconstituting it because listen what do you think the chicken bones taste like chicken so if mm -hmm. you're reconstituting the sponge from a chicken slurry does it matter whether or not it had fucking bones in it when you threw it into the well, into it the grinder it doesn't matter but people are so like ah oh, bones in America that like chicken we're, titties we're, can we all just admit <laughs> that America tits. are the babies of the food world. Like, the literal fucking spoiled children. I used to work as a software developer, and one of the leads on my team, one of, like, my bosses, was this Asian woman who came from China, like, not that long ago. And she was talking about how, like, when she would cook dinner, her family would fight over the fucking bones to, like, gnaw the succulent marrow out uh -huh, of and uh -huh. all the extra meat and shit. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, that shit doesn't happen in America. No. We look at that and go, ew, bones, ooh, but in, oh, like, other yucky. countries, they uh. fucking love that shit. That's where all the flavor is. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're such spoiled children with our food. It's insane. It's, 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 yeah, we're a little bit, like, queasy about things. Like, we don't want, like, the gristle and the fat. Exactly. And, like, you know, we don't people, want any of it. People complain if there's, like, you know, an eyeball in their fish. Like, come on, just shut up and eat the eyeball. It's, I mean, like, the, the thing with food, my attitude on it is if it's not harmful to you and it tastes good, then eat it. Like, I, like someone could serve me a fucking casserole dish, and they could lift the lift the lid yeah, and yeah, go, yeah. Uh, "Sir, your monkey diarrhea." And if someone scientifically said monkey diarrhea is perfectly safe to eat mm -hmm. and it tasted good, I would devour that whole fucking tray. No yeah, you'd just asked. fucking be sitting because there what's like. What's the problem? Would you eat it with a spoon or would you use your bare hands? It depends on how it's prepared. Because I'm thinking, because I'm, if it's I'm in picturing a sauce, it. Uh, I'm picturing you just like scooping it up with your bare hands and just like shoveling it into your into your fucking mouth while you're crouched like a over it. Man and start yeah. hooting and hollering. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but monkey right, so, diarrhea. So, but like, uh. but like brains, eyes, organ meat, like fucking unbirthed eggs, whatever the fuck. If it is not harmful to the human body and it tastes good, I'll eat it. Most of that stuff I won't eat because I think it tastes like shit, but, like, I think, I don't know, I think Americans are just so goddamn spoiled when it comes to food, man. No, you're definitely right. Yeah. Um, my father, he grew up on a, uh, on a farm in, Oh, uh, boy, he ate some yeah. raw <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, yeah, he... <laughs> How many fetuses do you want for dinner, Mike? Ah, uh, well, you're talking I'm about... I'm having 20. I think you're... You're referencing Gotta the... save room for the abortions. <laughs> the the dessert, baby. Yeah, the slurry. You're We're talking about mystery slaw tonight, Mike. He he would he would cook like an octopus, right? Oh, that's but I awesome. say I say cook an octopus, but what I really mean is just take an octopus and put it in a pot of boiling water till it's dead and then chew on it. <laughs> I you know, like like no salt. No fucking see it. Maybe, maybe like, yeah, a pinch of salt. But outside of that, we're talking about a raw fucking octopus. I came down here strategically, but okay, I think it was a bad fine. strategy. I got eliminated. Um, but you you seem to be referencing uh, Balut. You, you know what that is, man? That's the thousand year eggs, right? The like duck fetus. Uh, it's a duck that has been. Yeah, good for you, man. Good for you, man. Oh, I saw that. That was rough. It's a duck. So they take a duck egg, and uh, they, uh, you know, it's fertilized. This is a, 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 a delicacy in the Philippines, right? And I, when I was growing yeah. up, I had a friend whose mother was from the Philippines, right? So okay. they take the fertilized duck egg. They wait, uh, like, a couple of weeks for the embryo to get nice and healthy. And then they hard-boil the egg. And then you eat that. And uh, one night... 
during uh, said friends, uh, he was having a barbecue at his at his house, and he invited me over, and he was like, "We got some balut. Do you, you want to try the balut?" Oh no, this was the second time I ate balut. I forgot about the first time I ate balut. No, 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 the first. Okay, Andrew. Yeah. My friend group at the time. This was a college. They would put together, uh, well, I had one friend, his name was Jeff, and he would put together, like, think a game show, and it was called Win Jeff's Pot. So he would have all of, all of our friends come up, show, show up at his apartment, right? And mm -hmm. he would force us to do stupid little mini games and shit to, uh, now, to, no, win, to win pot, to win pot. Yes, this now, was the what, first marijuana time. Marijuana or what was in, like, the mystery pot of stew? It was it was marijuana. It was marijuana, and marijuana okay, is illegal. So you you jump through fucking fire and flames. To it get is this it thing. is it is illegal. Uh, but you know what? Um, it was a long time ago, and the statute of limitations has definitely passed. So don't like call the cops or anything like that. Yeah, it's so right? fucking rad. It uh, should be illegal. Bad, bad weed is bad. Drugs are bad. Okay, right. this is you know. Look, look at me. Look, look at the state of my life, chat. Okay, you, you my my fucking existence is proof of what I'm telling you. Don't do drugs. Okay. So, mm -hmm. win Jeff's pie, Dude, right? Drugs, we all, super cool. we, we yeah, all, yeah, yeah. We all show, we all show up. He's got okay. So one of the, the the games is like, who could put together a jigsaw puzzle the fastest? And then you know, if you don't put the jigsaw, if you're the last one, you get eliminated. Things like that. You have to one eat them, a balloon. One of them, one of them, uh, one of them was gay chicken, actually, and that was actually a fine a final round whereby my friend just um he just gr grabbed the guy's dick like right out of the gate. He was like, I want the pot, and I'm not a homophobe. Done, easy. Wow. And it was like, it was like, okay, okay. Very, the, the, the other guy screamed like a fucking girl. It was amazing. He was like, oh, oh my that weenie! Is, that it is a loserous response it to was, gay chicken. It was fucking great. But uh, one of the competitions was who was going to eat the balut. Like, so they brought out the, the again, and you're, you're talking about like a duck egg. They are significantly larger than chicken eggs, right? Um, these things are fucking thick. Fuck, you're talking about a huge fucking egg, right? right? So, two people looked at this. They opened, like, they took they took the shell off. And they saw the little, uh, the embryo in the, the fetus, the chicken, the duck fetus. And they were like, no, nah, I'm out. I'm not eating that. I don't, I don't want the pot that badly. I don't want the pot. Now, I said, I said, I want the pot, right? Mm -hmm. I ate this thing. Now, a couple of things. At the time in my life that I'm describing, I had braces. And, and let's... Let's remind ourselves, this is the first time you ate balut. Yeah, this is the first time. This is the first time. Okay, Same. all right, so there's more balut so, to yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, so, all right. so, I had braces on my teeth, okay? Now, guys, this is gonna get, this is gonna get rancid, so... If you need to dip out for a minute, or mute this, or, or whatever, I'm warning you, what I'm about to say, it's... You're, you're ruining my monkey diarrhea here, right. Mike. I, I... <laughs> oh, I lost my appetite for monkey <laughs> diarrhea. When you hard boil this fucking duck egg, right? For some reason, the, the 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 whites of the egg took on the consistency of styrofoam. Oh. So I'm trying to hork this fucking thing down, and this veiny, slimy, styrofoam-like substance is getting stuck in my fucking braces. Right? Oh. It tastes like something ro rotting. It tasted like rot. It didn't like taste like styrofoam. it tasted like rot. It, well, it tasted like I, I don't. I guess like rotten poultry. It didn't. It wasn't something that I was supposed to be eating. Type of a, type of a, of a taste. And I don't know if they fucked up the preparation of it, or maybe the egg was was bad, or something. But I convinced myself at the time that this was what this was supposed to to, to taste like. But the taste was not as bad as the texture. Guys, that's what you got to understand. The texture was what made this damn near impossible. When I bit through the the, the... the bird. The bird was developing bones, and they just broke like like little toothpicks. They just broke. I could feel them snapping like boop, like little tooth... Like, they were like fish bones. If you ever fucking accidentally chewed on a fish bone, that's what the fish bone... That's what the fucking bones were like. The head... It was like jelly. Now, a lot of you guys are saying that this is gross, but you know what? This is another culture. In the Philippines, they eat this all the time. This is considered a delicacy. 
So if you think that this is disgusting, then uh, you're racist. You're, ra you're racist. You're racist. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that's where I'm going with this. Yeah. So you know what? Get off your high horse. And this goes back to what you were saying about Americans being spoiled about food. Right. Look at them. They can't even handle this. Yeah, they can't handle mushed up duck embryo brains in a nice bone sauce. <laughs> bone hurting juice. <laughs> and that was the first time that I ate this. Fun postscript. I didn't win the pot. I got eliminated in the next round. How? How is that not the final round? Nah, it was actually the second what to last round. What comes after the Did you round. have to, like, fuck each other in the ass to completion? <laughs> like, good God. I, I actually really want that pot to get in there and hand me the balloon. I actually don't remember what the next challenge yeah, was. The one that I lost, I don't drugged. remember. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> the next step was a fucking saw trap. You've got a friend who's missing a hand and you don't remember why, but at least he got his pot. Eat the balloon. Jesus. You have you have 30 seconds. What the fuck could come after eating balloon? I don't even I just don't remember. It was probably a logic puzzle of some kind. Yeah, logically, why would you eat the balloon? <laughs> failed that. You had to write an essay on why you did that. Uh, I just, yeah, I just, at, the, at that time in my life, I thought, um, you know, I, I thought weed was cool. I thought it was cool enough to eat a, a, a basically a dead, a dead duck. A duck abortion in order to get weed. And this is just goes back to my original point, which was don't do drugs. Oh, and this, yeah, well, the, the, don't drink alcohol either, because that was the second time. The second time was, I went to his barbecue, had a shitload of beer, Got damn near blackout drunk, and my friend was like, Hey, remember when you ate that balut? I got more. And I was like, Fuck yeah, give me that shit! And then I just did it, to, to, I don't know, to, to be cool? Peer pressure. The second time, there was no pot on the table. It was just peer pressure the second time. So Straight up peer pressure. Uh, the, sec the second time, I fuck, again, I barely remember, because I was blackout drunk. How do you remember it was balut then? So I, it, 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 dude, you know what? Maybe it wasn't. And I'm dead. Oh, I'm in. Right, I'm gonna spectate you for a minute here. Gave me strength. Let it nourish you. Let that baby bird sacrifice nourish you and bring you to victory. I... Man. It was I easier while drunk. It was easier to eat it while drunk. I was like, Whoa! I don't care about anything. Spring break. I just had fucking baby dead bird like all over my fucking tits that I had out because it was spring break. We're going to get so fucking wasted. We're going to go down to Cancun. We're going to do some shots and we're going to all eat balloons. Hell Woo! yeah. Send your frogs. Spring break. Boobs hey out. This is Ryan Seacrest and I'm here with balloon. <laughs> any, any wild and crazy partiers want some balloon in the Seacrest mobile? Show me your boobs. I'll throw you some balut. Just fucking throwing like yeah, hard boiled fucking duck duck, duck embryos. <laughs> Beads and duck fetuses. That's how I remember my spring break. Now After, everyone, go go pick them up uh, off the fucking street. Those are expensive. Spaghetti uh, saucerer says, "I dip my balut in barbecue sauce." Oh, all right. <laughs> Welcome to the Travis Scott meal. I've got my quarter pounder with lettuce, bacon, pickles, onion, ketchup, and mustard. This here's my balut. I dip it in the barbecue. Sauce. <laughs> what if he What if he tried to sneak it into the commercial real quick? This is the Travis Scott meal, featuring my sprite, my fries, my balut, and my quarter pounder. Cut, Travis. We told you to stop <laughs> bringing up the balut. We don't sell balut at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, but you should. <laughs> This is the fucking uh, eighth take we've had to do. Uh, Stop uh, talking Tra about balloon, Travis. Travis Scott walks onto the set of the commercial and just looks around. What's wrong, Mr. Scott? And he just go. He just leans to his manager. <laughs> I was told there'd be balloon. <laughs> it was and in his uh, his rider. When it's not there. Uh, it was in his contract. Rider in the yeah. contract. Oh, you got a gold ring over there. Go for oh, it. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, oh, nah. I got blocked. Yeah, you this got cock blocked. Shit. They blocked your banana. I think you need to push the platform closer now. Oh, I do, but I want to make it believe. This this yeah. is the type push. of... Oh, oh wow, he made, made it. it. Fuck. Son of a bitch. That was the type that of shenanigans that fucked me over the other night. It was like a yeah. like a clusterfuck like that, and I, I, I wouldn't give up. Stubbornly, I wouldn't give up. 
the fucking thing that fucks me over is thinking that this game mode is fun. I hate this one yeah, it's so not, much. It's, it's not good. The no, Mc, not at all. The McBalut. Maybe the, the fucking McDonald's in the Philippines have the, the McBalut. Oh, oh, you just, dude, you just toad, toadstooled that motherfucker. Yeah, they oh, do things like it. that sometimes. They have, like, the, the regional uh, shit. You know? They do. I know a lot of McDonald's around the world sell rice. Yeah, they do all of kinds of yeah, whatever they think uh, you know is gonna make money in the in the in the given locale. Oh. I went to a Pizza Hut in oh. India. Stop spinning! I'm in. The the uh, the Indian Pizza Hut it had goat meat on the pizza. I'd, I'd eat that. That sounds good. Dude, it was fucking rad. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had it. Goat. It was it was rad. You've had you've had goat. You like goat? I feel like I've had goat once in my life somewhere. Look, let me let me put it this way: if goat meat is represented by its goat cheese, then that's a nice little touch, because goat cheese is fucking delicious. Say, bring it back to burgers for a second. You ever have yeah. fucking goat cheese on a, on a burger, man? You're goddamn right I have, and I love it. It's fucking oh, awesome. Here, let's let's back to another sidestep here, because I need your opinion on something. Please. We're both civilized men. We've had our balloons Not and really, monkey because... diarrhea. Yeah. We've, <laughs> yeah, we've, yeah, we've, yeah. we've eaten our rice at McDonald's. Yeah. We can both agree... And you, you, I want you to confirm or deny this. We can both agree. Blue cheese is fucking delicious and phenomenal and uh, goes on so many foods beyond just like buffalo wings. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Blue, blue yeah. cheese is more versatile oh. than people give it credit for. I agree. I agree Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Yeah. I've had blue cheese burgers and oh, yeah, some that of works. Them are just so good. Yeah, that fucking so works. Fucking good. Chunkier the better, too. Give me them thick. Cheesy chunks in there. Those oh, cheesy yeah. chunks, that's that's mold, you know that? Oh, that's it's I mean, mold. like it's just mold. fucking yeah, set my mold. pancreas up to die then, because I'm gonna eat that until I <laughs> dissolve into the ground. I'm yeah, I mean I don't like care. It's just bath. it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, that's mold. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm eating mold chunks, okay. Fuck yeah, I yeah. am. God, I love blue cheese so blue much. Blue cheese and on it a burger. It's yeah. my stomach too, but I keep eating it and I'll I won't stop either. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you just gotta go for it, man. What's I'm getting... life without experimenting? Oh god, this you, is a bad place yeah, to Yeah, you stand. might be fucked. I might be fucked. I, I might One be at a point. One out of three in... chance of just losing. I think I'm at a point in my life where I can't eat spicy food anymore god because of heartburn. Just go for it. Just go for the I jump. I have to. Yeah. Whoops. Wow, what a shame. That was a lame way to go out. Extremely lame. Uh, I love spicy foods. I've loved spicy foods my whole life, but I don't think I could do it anymore because, because of heartburn, and that sucks. It's a really sad feeling. See, I'm very similar in that I also like spicy foods. I like the flavor of spice. But my tummy and my butthole, they don't like it. Mm. They don't like it. I, I eat the spicy food and I go, ooh, oh, ooh, buffalo? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, this is so, yes. And then the next day, I'm on the toilet and I'm just like cursing every god and deity I can think of. <laughs> god damn you, Dionysus! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Poseidon! Hey, Zag baby, see you got a little problem with your asshole there. Boy, that's a bummer, man. Here's some booze to help Mike, you out, buddy. Mike, let me take a quick piss, and then let me bring up a very fun fact about Dionysus I've been saying. All right, take, right take your pee. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. What's up, chat? Finally, we're alone. We can we could talk now. How you guys doing tonight? You doing good? Thanks for coming. Uh, do you have a prescription for Omeprazole? I don't know what that is, so no. Hope not. The Roman god of laxatives. Hi, Mike. I was eating. Not anymore, Henbane. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry about the Balut story, but it's not disgusting. It makes me a man of the world. I'm a man of the world because I ate that. You know, I'm not a savage. I'm a, I'm a cultured man. I'm Mr. Worldwide. Eat more Tums. Mike, you prefer the word kunk or skunt? Damn, you're going to make me choose, Providence? Batch talk. Uh, do you you guys want to tell Andrew about batching? I don't think you know. Somebody earlier said that we should tell Andrew about batching, and then I and then I forgot. I'll tell you what, chat. Why don't Why don't you tell him about batching? Why don't you bring him in on this chat? He needs to know. Recruit him into the into the batch. Might batch be life. Glad I'm a quick pisser. Oh, Andrew. Yeah. I got a question for you, bud. Yeah. Um, all right, so hypothetical. What if I were to tell you... Yeah. That... 
<laughs> chat's that already you, that you the, farted? What? The, the chat's already losing it. They're already fucking losing it. What okay. if I were to tell you that you could take a poop that would last? <laughs> well, well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. The it's not. This is not just any any run of the mill poop. This poop oh. lasts for a full year of your life. You're pooping. <laughs> but, 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 big but. When it's over, you never have to poop again in your life. Oh. Do you go for it? Hundred percent. You do. You do it. You, you do it. Absolutely. I would you're, spend you're a year on. I would spend a year sitting on a bucket. I would just stay in my house, get a nice big bucket. He likes it, chat. I, I mean, like, just find a way. Get a get one of those like industrial sized tanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just sit on top of that. Put a little little seat up there. Mm -hmm. Now, so how does the poop work? Mm -hmm. Is it like a Here regular poop? Here like, do go. I have breaks in between <laughs> pushing it out? No, nah, it's one long continuous log. Oh man, that's hard. Uh, and at the end of this, oh, we we figured out that the fucking, the mountain of shit, like the 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 coiled turd, at the end of this would be the height of the Goodyear Tower in Akron, Ohio. So twenty two meters high. Can you put that in American units? Uh, somebody in chat can do it because I don't, I don't, I don't do math okay. like that. I'm, I'm, I'm better than math. I don't do I that feel, shit. All right. So then, in that case, I feel like physically, yeah. I could. No one could even physically do this. I don't think you can strain your butt that much without like dying. No, no. It's all everything medical is taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. This is a medically induced batching. It's called batching, by the way. We have a name for it. Because you're making a batch of poop. It's it's like all of the all of the poops of your of your life are now batched into one event. So it's like you're getting all of all of your pooping for your lifetime out of the way in that in that one year. Could we and, call it bulking instead? Because you're pooping in bulk. Bulking is also good, but okay. I mean this is this is to, this, it's too established at this point to change the name of it. Like we've got T-shirts made and hats made, dude. I, like we I can't we can't read, change like, this at this point. I want to read like fitness forums and read that people are bulking hardcore and just start laughing though. <laughs> Alternate word bulking, sure. Yeah. Time to bulk the... up. So so what's your answer for this question then? Uh no, I wouldn't do it. That's insane. Come on, wait, fuck it, that's stupid. Take a poop for a year, what am I, an well, asshole? hang on a minute, don't be so hasty. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, think it over. <laughs> Could I sway you by saying we'll give you a brand new toilet? Now, it, uh, it depends, the consistency of it depends on what you eat. Because you, you gotta okay. eat this whole time, it's not like you can't eat, but you're getting like, uh, oh, you're getting DoorDash oh, and stuff. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, 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 but it, but it's, okay. like I said, like, you're gonna be given, like, a spa, basically, that, that you shit in. Like, it'll be a nice room. Uh, with a like the, the toilet is upholstered and it reclines and it's really comfortable. It's I think like a lazy boy with a hole cut into it, right? And yeah, you're just that, well. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna buy a lazy boy yeah. and just like like hollow out a hole in it with a butter knife and <laughs> let that little like spot where all the electronics go just take care of the rest. Right. Yeah. Like just carve a hole into the into the fucking upholstery, like into the the the, the fucking foam that's in there. Yeah. Yeah, you got but your video why games. Anything, why haven't I done that now? <laughs> the wheels are turning here. The wheels, the <laughs> the gears are turning. You just gave me a brilliant Keenan and Kel style idea. <laughs> you got your Netflix. You know, you could uh, uh, like work from home. You'll have a laptop. Uh, your job is gonna let you work from home. Well, I'll keep, I'll stream during it. It's like, oh, sure, you could stream, sure, all that yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, if if you have a a job that you go to regularly, they treat it like um. Medical Mater leave. maternity leave, but you know yeah. it's a bi it's a big uh, poop uh, poop baby, yeah. Yeah. And it's uh y yeah you you're still on the clock. You'll still work like your nine to five shifts from okay. home from home. You know remote remotely. Uh, if you have a job where you need to physically be there because you're like I don't know mechanic or something, uh, there's they figure it out. They accommodate that. Don't worry about it. Um, they install a lift in your house so you could actually work on people's cars while you're pooping. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What, what, whatever it is, there's an answer for it. There's just, a solution I'm, for I'm everything. I'm really trying very hard to wrap my head around the concept of there is at all times poop leaving my body yeah. and where it would go if I try to do anything. Yeah, if, you, know, if you if you try to get up, then you did you know you fucking made a mistake. But I guess there's gonna be like uh, peripherals for this. 
Because okay. you're also going to need to exercise because you, you, you can't just like stay indoors for a fucking year and like, you know, be sedentary like that. Well, I guess you, you can. Um, you're going to need to mm -hmm. walk around a little bit. Uh, we like, like we could hook you up to a mobile type of, uh, like a mech suit like a, like from a, like anime. A, yes. Yes. Okay, or, a, or a, um, well, mech suit is definitely infinitely fucking cooler. Yeah, a mech poop suit. Yeah. yeah. It, like, my my <laughs> okay. shit comes out and goes into the nuclear reactor and powers it. That's what fuels it. I was gonna say like, like the like, ma the Master Chief suit, like how it jacks yeah, them, like it jacks like how them every off. Every anime has like a yeah. has like a gimmick, like Attack on Titan has like the the moving gear, and like even Jillian has the Evas, and like Dragon Ball has like key. The the gimmick for this one is you have mech suits that are powered by doo doo. <laughs> And because I'm taking the infinite dump, which is prophesized in the in the scripture, I, I am like the strongest <laughs> mech pilot of all time. You're the chosen one. It's a chosen one anime. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm the protagonist purely because my doo-doo is so perfect and forever. Oh my the god. Infinite doo-doo. <laughs> the name of this anime would be like Infinite Doo-Doo Mark Zero One. Uh <laughs> and then there'd be a then there'd be another another spin-off in the future called like rebirth of the doo-doo and it would get like mixed reviews and it has like a semicolon in the title for no reason semicolon but the yeah, the, it, the, the graphic of it is like a butthole it's a an actual an actual colon yeah yeah oh, a fuck. diagram of a colon oh we can't I like this i don't i don't want to fuck this, this up i don't want to fuck this up oh i'm gonna fuck but this if, up. if i worry. move this over there then i'm just letting somebody else get the i have zero welcome the... to how hard this game is because yeah, this I, mode sucks i have zero of the six rings that you need to to win this i is have one don't this worry is actual penis huh yeah this is a mulligan this is a mulligan every single player in the server is trying to get this one gold ring i'm leaving so let's let's round about a little bit here. I I hear that you've uh, been playing Hades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's great. I've I've also been obsessively playing Hades, and I love that game, and I've been streaming it, and I've made a discovery mm -hmm. during my streams of it, and I want to see if maybe you or your chat or whoever agree with me. Mm -hmm. So you have all you have all the gods. You got like Zeus and Poseidon and this and that, and I'm glad you brought up Dionysus, the god of wine. I have noticed through playing that game and staring him in the fucking face mm -hmm. that Dionysus is literally no changes needed, no 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 stretch of the imagination required whatsoever. Dionysus is a JoJo's character. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He is. <laughs> the way he's drawn, the way he talks, the way he poses. I only watched. About him. I've only he watched two seasons of JoJo. From that fucking show. I've only watched two seasons of JoJo, but from what I've seen, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, he is just one to one taken the vo from part the voice two of acting, yeah, the the, the, the demeanor, voice acting, <laughs> the poses, his physique, his outfit. You could take him, cut him out, change nothing about his design, put him in the show, and he would fit in perfectly. Life for Nintendo says Dionysus. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Dude, it, it, I mean, well, if you want to talk about the physiques, then I guess they could all be JoJo characters, technically. Since well, physique-wise, yes, but yeah. I'm talking about the way his he's like his costume, the, the hair. way he talks, yeah, the, the way hair. he yeah. is drawn in the art, the hair, everything. He is just literally like he's a he was fucking probably JoJo the original character. Model reference for fucking Dio or something. <laughs> Are did you, you still in the did game? you qualify? No, you didn't. You didn't qualify. No, I I uh, died super uh, hard. Uh, all right, good. Well, not good, but. No. Cause I, I yeah I also funny. I also got fucked. Okay, well let's requeue. Dionysus is probably my favorite like character in that game. I just love his voice I acting. I love his voice acting. It reminds hey, me of, like Zag. Can't wait to see that you've chosen me as your god. Anyway, I thought I would give you a hot boon known as a hard dicking. <laughs> he reminds me of Zap Brannigan from fucking Futurama for some for some reason. I always, I, would, I always I would love, love that to character. See him in the game, I would love to see him in the game have parts where he like loses his coal. Just be like, like you have those trials of the gods and you don't pick him, and he's like, "Whoa, Zag! I didn't know you were such a cocksucker." 
How Whoa, could you wait, fuck me over like that, you way sack to of be shit. a total cocksucker, baby. Yeah. Now, Zag, <laughs> I was going over your permanent record here, and it seems here that you fuck horses. I mean, <laughs> that's the only explanation for why you wouldn't choose my boons. Yeah, well, in Greek mythology, apparently, fucking horses is uh, par for the course. So I... All right, let me rephrase that line. Now, Zag, it seems you fuck horses. Wanted to say right on, man. <laughs> Good going. Join the club, finally. Way to go, Zag baby. Way to go, Zag baby. There you go. Have a nice hot dish of gorilla diarrhea with your fucking with your horse sex. Uh classic Greek dish. Um, this comes with almonds and or uh, olives and feta cheese. Did you ever see the? Because you you know you do the how it's made videos and you yes. like the you know the conspiracy ball well, night. I made a conspiracy I, I video. I just like I um, like making fun of educational stuff. I, I watch a lot of educational programming. I think it's fun. The, the the fucking chickens not having the beaks and the eyes was something that was presented to me as like a conspiracy theory theory type of thing. Uh -huh. Let me ask you if you had ever heard this because I still get a lot of a lot of shit for this, right? Now I don't know if this was a local conspiracy theory or if this was um nationwide, man, I I don't know, but I was told that on a cold, a cold, uh, or chilly, morning in chilly the time autumn, the light. chilly autumn night. It was my bad. Yeah, a chilly autumn night. Eternal rain. Uh, in the 1970s, uh, a uh, a man driving on the what was it? The belt, the belt Parkway in in New York City. Uh, he discovered a headless shaved gorilla on the side of the road, and it was in close proximity to the Nathan's uh, hot dog meat processing factory. What? Basically, Nathan's makes their hot dogs from gorillas. That's the conspiracy theory. Is this real? Yeah, it's a real conspiracy theory, yeah. Is it really happening? Well... Probably. Well, what do well, you let's, think? Let's do the math. Yeah, so yeah. How, yeah. Much, how much does a gorilla cost? Because uh, how many pounds of meat per gorilla are you getting? You're you know? asking the right questions. You're asking the right <laughs> questions. You are. You're. You're. you're I got. Right I got the ball wrong rolling. Person. Yeah. Do we have a gorilla expert yeah. in the chat? Um, what if they didn't have to worry about how much gorillas cost because they have gorilla farms? Okay. They have farms where they're breeding the gorillas, right, for their meat. I think that's called a zoo. All right now. I know what you're thinking. Where? Oh, that's not Am you. I? Did you get eliminated? No, I'm at the front. Where the fuck is the half Someone hot dog? Stole my head? outfit. I'm I'm on the right. Oh, I got you. All right. Yeah, the did outfit you get is eliminated? very distinguishing. Yes, I did because I suck cock at video games. Yeah. You should have trained a hairless gorilla to teach you how to yeah. play. <laughs> well, where would you have enough room to farm gorillas, though? Like that, with, well, and and not have it be discovered because you know you can't have, you can't have fucking people knowing that you're making your hot dogs from gorillas, right? So like, where would you? Oh, nice yeet, dude. Fuck. Yes, it is all about practice. Fuck this guy. Oh, you. F oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a spicy little exchange. That was disgusting. I'm an animal. So. So wouldn't wouldn't really large cows be comparably the size of gorillas? Like really larger ones? Yeah, but you have to hide it because gorillas are an endangered species. You you can't be They are? Yeah, you can't be doing well certain species are, right? Like silverback gorillas, right? Yeah. That was why Don't that we have a, I thought we had enough monkeys. Just regular garden variety monkeys. Uh th this is specifically gorillas that they're making the hot dogs from though. And okay. the gorillas are the things that are that are endangered, right? Which is why Are you that, making this up on the spot? Because this... Why, I believe this, but I'm not fucking, sure if I should. Why would I make up... Just go on the internet and make things up. I don't I do not do that. Right? Uh, come on. You mean someone would do that? Just go yeah. on the internet and I'm tell gonna, lies? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that, man. Right? So, yeah, that's a fair point. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. It would be about the size of a, of a, of a, of a full-grown cow, I guess, and probably weigh, weigh about the same. But it has to be hidden from, from human eyes. So you need, like, a massive facility... Where you breed the gorillas out of the, the public scrutiny, right? So right. where in, you know, the New York City metropolitan area do you think they would be able to get away with doing something like that? Why does it have to be in New York? Couldn't they import the gorilla meat from uh, other states? No, because gorilla meat goes bad really, really quickly. So it has to be fresh gorilla or else it's not worth it. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. It's got to be fresh, like, just slaughtered. Think about potentially where they could put that. Put you on the right track here. How do you now? How do you know it's in New York? Did you? Are you this gorilla man? This Nathan's hot dog gorilla man? Let's. Oh, I'm stuck in the level, by the way. Check this out. Just go towards there the. We go. Yeah, you're you're fine. Yeah, yeah. That, that's happened to me before. Um. Okay. Let's just say I've done my homework. I've done my homework. Okay. So it is in New York City. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna help you along here. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Okay. That would be helpful because I, I know like two parts of New York and that's about it. The sewers, man. The sewer tunnels. Mike, thank you so much for playing this. I suddenly have to leave forever <laughs> and never stream with you again. Uh, you think I'm crazy. Of course you do. Everybody thinks, everybody thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> I... <laughs> Why doesn't anybody take this seriously? So, how accurate is this conspiracy theory? How much research have you done to prove it's true? I have video evidence. Oh, I'm I starting have... to I'm starting to lose the threads here, Mike. I have video I have video evidence. Okay, uh, what does the video show? It's it's doc detailed footage of the of the gorilla farms, man. Underneath. So why the... is this a conspiracy yeah. theory if you have proof? Because the Nathans has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to bury to bury this. But they, that's not a theory. That's... They've buried it. They've buried it. They've assassinated people. They've killed the journalists, politicians. Anybody who's tried to investigate this. The fact that I'm even saying who, this to you puts who, me at risk. Wait, well, let's let's back up. What politician ever came out with a platform and said, I want universal health care and to investigate that naked gorilla at Nathan's Hot Dogs? That's like that. The people deserve to know. That libertarian guy in the 90s who got caught cheating on his wife. And oh, that, this is from the 90s? Yeah, and that was why he fucking, that was how the, the affair got exposed. So you, this is back Na in the Na 90s. Nathan's when... outed him to, to to ruin his career because Th this is back in the 90s, back when video cameras were not nearly as portable. So someone happened to be driving along, having a merry old jolly day by the Nathan's factory, yeah. and then went, "Good heavens, a shaved headless gorilla!" Yeah. and pulled over with their camcorder on hand and preserved that footage all the way until the year 2020. That's correct. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. I That's fully correct. believe you work. We get started. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Yeah, that's all I needed. I just needed to reiterate. I got my thoughts together. It all sounds plausible. Well, I'm sold. Yeah. Has anyone said reasons that couldn't have happened? I don't fucking think so. I haven't heard a single good one. You're fucked. You're not fucked. I, I distinctly remember playing Hades and Zag was like, yo, he was like, yo, Zag, baby, do you remember that hairless gorilla near the Nathan's <laughs> factory? That's some pretty fucked up stuff, isn't it, Zag? It was a weird part of the game. I don't know why they left it in, but now that I know, I know. You see that pineapple? Killed him. You killed him That's, by... I'm telling you, give him a little tap and they're dead. You lightly tapped him and I he... I lightly tapped that pineapple and he fucking died. And you it's gave, such you a gave him strategy. like jump delay, right? Yep, because there's a little delay before you can jump. I love that Dionysus knows about the gorilla meat hot dog conspiracy. Oh, he he's the one who set it up. <sighs> Dude... I'm trying I to believe I, I believe in you. Killed him, killed the death. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. He survived it though. Almost oh, he survived that, that too. Fell. Yeah, he fell, I noticed I that you you let the fucking thing touch you before you jump. Uh, that's lag. Is I, that what that is? Okay. So you can do that. You can wedge in there, but it's usually not a good strategy. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm great. Wow, what a fucking gamer, folks. Look at this. I know. What about this though? <gasps> Oh, I dude, the, the, I play the, fast and loose, man. I'm telling you. Fucking tip of your foreskin was touching the platform, and that's why you're not dead. I stay away from other players. Oh, killed that guy. Oh, he <laughs> survived. Oh, my God. Try it again. Uh-oh. That was too risky. The hubris, that dude. That was stupid. The hubris yeah. was real. I try to stay away from other players so I can sneak in and kill them, but that was... I mistimed that. That was embarrassing. Um, it can't be nearly as embarrassing that almost e almost everything that's come out of my mouth tonight. What? Completely true conspiracy theories from Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. Wow. I, w I want to ask you if you can do... And I think you already did a... Ha yeah, you did do a how it's, how it's Actually Made Hot Dogs. I did. 
But can you do can you do another how it's actually made hot dogs? But but it's but gorilla, about gorillas. But, but about gorillas. Every line is just it starts with gorillas, then the gorilla meat. Yeah, just once the just, gorillas are yeah. firmly tenderized. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh -huh. I'll think about it. Yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> I if you're telling me how it is, if you're laying laying it on me straight. I, I, it might be a dangerous assignment. I, I might be putting myself at risk. When we're done streaming, I'll link him the video chat. I'll, I'll show, I'll show him the video, and then he can oh, make wait, up. Is this a real video? And then he can make up his his own mind about it. I don't like this. Yeah, and then he can, then he can come to his own fucking conclusions. I can remove the wolf from his eyes, but it's up to him whether or not he wants to see. I can offer him the blue pill and the red pill. But it's ultimately it's his choice to make chat. I've always wondered during that scene in the Matrix what would happen if Neo ate both pills. <laughs> like seriously. Uncontrollable explosive diarrhea that lasts for a year. And can power a mech suit. <laughs> I love I love What would happen uh... if Morpheus was looking at Neo, looking him in the eyes, and he's like, you take the red pill. And you can have fun in the Matrix. You take the blue pill, and you go back to work, fucking Tom Anderson, you moron. And then what if Neo instead slapped Morpheus's hands on the ground and just started kissing him real <laughs> passionately? <laughs> Would that have been a better Matrix movie? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the bar is low. And then, like, like Trinity walks in, and like, Morpheus is just like, I want you inside me, Neo. I'm Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> Like, I should direct The Matrix, is what I'm saying. The new <laughs> sequel that's coming out, let me do it. Yeah, he slaps both pills on the ground, and did you, yeah, like, like deep, passionately, deeply yeah. fr fr French. I don't want your pills, French's, Morpheus. Uh, with Lawrence, it's Lawrence Fishburne that gets Frenched. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there, in the in the scene, the actual dialogue is Neo slaps the pills to the ground, and he goes, I don't want your pills, Lawrence Fishburne, I mean Morpheus. <laughs> and then they start kissing. I want you. You're I want you with a question mark. Your meaty cock is the only pill I need inside me. I want to shave you like a gorilla and drop you <laughs> off at the Nathan's factory. <laughs> the oh, morph, do really morph dogs for a limited time only. <laughs> Where the fuck are, did you you qualify? I just right. I just All won. Right. All right. Did you win? Yeah, I'm in. The uh, finally, I'm so proud of you, my Some... little Mikey boy. My Thanks, little Mikey Ted. boy. My little Mikey boy. There it goes. Are you Mikey! winning, son? Are you winning? Mikey! So the mech suit, the mech suit that runs on. Yeah, that's a really good. Uh, that's a really good idea. So you get you walk around in a giant robot that collects the fucking poop and immediately. Uh transubstantiates it into energy for the for the mech suit. We could call it the Trans Siberian Orchestra. Mm -hmm. It also makes music. It makes wonderful, beautiful music. It makes little Christmas carols. The brown note. I wish that when I farted, like little jingle bells came out. That'd be a cool little skill to have. Yeah, just you're walking down the street, you're walking down the street, and you're like, oh, it's getting festive in here. And like as soon as your butt cheeks clench, you just hear do 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 do. It's like a Hallmark card with the fucking chip in it. It's it's a one it, yeah it's a one like style of MIDI so you only get one instrument. It's a really terrible rendition of Jingle Bells, but everyone knows it's Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, time to poop. That's how I know I gotta go. It's. I hate yeah, this I fucking mini I, game if too. If I right? had that ability, I would just constantly say it's feeling rather festive in here, and then I <laughs> fart on my friends. Like, they get pissed because they know where that noise is coming from. They know that I'm just releasing poop particles on them. The holidays but would like, be a hoot. Every, every time, though, every time, though, I just got to be like, uh, ah, ah, yes, it's time for the poop. It's time for the shit. It's a festive time of year. That's how you know it's going to be a good Christmas, baby. Oh, yeah. That's definitely how you know. Dude. I hate this mini game too. I I don't just well. Well, cause it's not called football. Yeah. We're using our what's it called? Football. Wait, what wait, is this? No, no, no. Uh, wait, wait. What's football? I only know that game as meat slap. Is that what you called it before? Meat slap. Meat slaps. Yeah. yeah we meat need slap. to rename yeah. American football to meat slaps. 
Yeah, I support that fully, by the way. I want you to know It's that. a better mm -hmm. name. Like, objectively, just description-wise. If I looked you in the eye and I said, and you are a regular-ass random human being, I said, let's play some football. What would you assume? Like, we're gonna we're you, gonna we're gonna kick feet? we're gonna kick a ball around with our feet. Kick a ball around. And if I looked at you and I said, you wanna play meat slaps? Meat slams? Meat slam, I think is what I called it. You wanna play a game of meat slam? Meat slam, man. Meat, meat slam. I, like is better, if there's yeah. not a butchery nearby, you can probably extrapolate what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe some sex? I don't know. Could it's be a really sex. hard contact be. sport. It could be sex. It could be sex. Thank you for the bits on official uh, uvula. Yeah, we were gonna do uh, Among Us tonight, but yeah. everybody like pooped out of it. We had ten people yeah. for Among Us. Wang said, "I'm on board," and then he, it turns out he had a tournament for Among Us today, and he went, "I have to do that," and I went, "Okay." Mudahar said, "I'm on board," and then today he said, "Oh, I have to visit my family because he's a fucking loser." So Ew. he left. I asked the official boys, and two of the three of them said, "Eh, let's just do it another time." So they're gone. Then I asked like three other people who said they were on board and they all said, oh, I actually can't make it tonight. So Jabroni Mike, my only actual friend, really <laughs> lining up the people I know in my life. The only person I can rely on in some fashion said, what well, would you like to do Fall Guys instead? And I said, I would love to do Fall Guys instead, Jabroni Mike. Yeah, I figured, I fuck it. To. We were, you know, I was, we were all set to, to, to do something, anything. And, you know, I mean, I like, just streamed this game the other day, but you know what? I like this game, so I figured, you know, it's got the multiplayer, even though it's like, it's barely multiplayer at this point, but. You know, it is my fallback game. Something if I'm to do. totally just out of ideas, yeah. I will just hop in here because it's such an easy game to half ass. Yeah, that's so how I, I was looking at it. I just use it. it as an excuse to talk to chat, honestly. But, I mean, you say that, but then you actually fucking win. So it's like, oh. I mean, I. I can That's have my full attention skill. on the, on this on this fucking game and and still lose. Like I just, I'm just bad. I'm just bad. That's where the skill comes in, man. I'm telling you. Why am I bad? Fuck out of here, son. Well, because you just yelled at your son in the other room. That's kind of <laughs> fucked up. My son is in Spain. He your can't son hear is me. an inquisitive learning boy, and he just came in to see his papa, and you said, "Get the fuck out of here, son." That's kind of fucked. Yeah, well, you know what? He's got to learn to mind his own damn business. Yeah! Come! <laughs> oh, baby. I'm sorry I yelled come at full volume in your ear, Andrew. It's okay. Are your neighbors okay? They'll get over it. You're still in, right? I came. Oh, uh, I fucking backed out like an idiot. Why? I was still in. I shouldn't have. I fucked up. And then I tried you know, to I... back out, and I, I pressed the confirm. Oh, the I'll confirm button. No, 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 It's fall ball. I'm going to leave. Are you taking that year-long dump? We need a name for the mech suit, somebody in chat said. What do you want to call it, chat? The, the mech suit powered by dumps? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good question. What do we call a mech suit? That's powered by poop. Uh, mobile shit Gundam. That's not bad. All right, all right. Robo batch, batch tech, gun dump. The, ooh, got... the Terminator is pretty nice. <laughs> gun... I like gun dump because it, it builds on a previously existing ooh. IP. How about this one? The Travis Scott mech suit. <laughs> yeah. I, I I want Avengers to come back. I want the Marvel Cinematic Universe to be rebooted, and fucking Iron Man walks up. And, like, everyone knows that Robert Downey Jr. died canonically in, in the universe. So, Captain America, he's like... Spoilers! Is that, is, that, is that you, Tony? Is that you, Tony, my best friend? And then the suit face comes up, like the Iron Man face, and it's Travis Scott, and he goes, I dipped him in the barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then he's officially a part of the fucking Avengers. That'd be the best. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is for the rest of time. And then he's never mentioned again. He disappears completely, and he's never brought up in any Marvel movie ever again. Well, they could just sell more tickets to the movie if they do that, because apparently you sell more things when Travis Scott's name is attached to right. it for some reason. So what what is Travis Scott doing with his life right now besides Fortnite and McDonald's hamburgers? What else is he a part of? I Assumedly, he has some kind of music career. You know what's funny? You know what's the funniest thing ever? He, he doesn't even? Travis Scott <laughs> he does showed up... 
Travis Scott showed up in Fortnite and did that big hollow concert. Yeah. That was finished. Then he started the McDonald's campaign, and I watched the, the Travis Scott commercial, and I went, who the fuck is Travis Scott? Dude, same. My, it had my to be explained to me. I completely blanked who this human being was. I didn't know what he was famous for or what he does. I still don't know any songs he's made. I don't know anything about him. I just know he. I. 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 And, I, I hate him. I have. I have to hate him. But. But like, here's the thing, Mike. He's like a brain worm. Because yeah. my chat will remind me every time songs that he has made, and I will immediately forget right after. Like. Okay. I, so apparently he made sicko mode according to the chat. Sicko mode. I didn't mode. remember. I've been told that nine times. I will never <laughs> remember that fact. I've never even heard the song. Like, I'm not listening to the radio, I guess. I don't know. Like, where, where are you Have hearing you, this shit? You, uh, here, I'll, I'll refresh your memory. So, Sicko Mode is a song. It comes on, and the beat's like... There's, like, you know, a little, like, synths over it. And Travis Scott then comes on, and he goes, Yeah, yeah. I dipped him in the barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, that yeah. one? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that yeah. classic. Rap. That timeless classic. Travis Scott. Rap. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Rap. Bob barbecue Hamburg. sauce. Travis Scott. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue <laughs> sauce. Fortnite. 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 Rap. 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 And then the song just abruptly ends. Every every instrument just stops all at once. That's the that's pretty much the whole song. And it won a Grammy. It won six Grammys. Six six Grammys. All in the same category. <laughs> they 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 revoked the previous winners for the last five years and gave them all the sicko mode. <laughs> And then, and then they went, uh. and today, tonight for a special <laughs> event, Travis Scott in the Grammys. And they revitalized the, like, TV signal, so Travis Scott made up the pixels on your screen for the Grammys. <laughs> like, he they zoomed the, the Grammys, camera out, yeah. and every single shot in the Grammys was just different photos of Travis Scott. Dude, he's taken over Twitch. He's taken over the fucking world as, as, I, as I know it. Like, I just, he's everywhere. He's, he's, he's everything. He's in my chat. He's in. Yeah. He's on my stream. He has fucking. He has the ability to hijack my stream anytime somebody tries to fucking watch it. Okay, that that should be Ill illegal. I'm saying advertising should be illegal. I hate that he gets. He he, he gets like free fucking exposure from my my content. Look at it that way. Look at it that way. Like like fuck that. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? When it, when is there going to be a Jabroni Mike commercial in front of a Travis Scott song? Never. Never. Is that don't fair? Say that. Don't say is that. that. Not fair? Is that is that don't is that fair? Don't say that. You don't know. You might sell a boring hamburger one day. Oh god, I hope so. I want I want to see if like other restaurants will try to follow this tactic up. Like imagine if fucking Jim Carrey Get signed. So I, I, I called, okay, okay, okay. I called this a while ago. This was a, d a discussion I had on my stream like a week ago. Mm -hmm. We were talking about Travis Scott and his barbecue sauce. And we were having an earnest sit down, a real powwow, a marketing meeting mm -hmm. of what is the next lazy celebrity promotional crossover. So you have Travis Scott and mm -hmm. the barbecue sauce and this and that. What is the next one that's going to try to follow it up that you could reasonably see happening? And my guess, I sat mm -hmm. silent for four minutes. Thought about it. Yeah. And I thought about it. And I could totally see this. Jim Carrey is going to promote Arby's. Okay. Perfect. And I think I think what's going to happen is Jim Carrey promoting Arby's is going to be a lazy, lazy commercial where Jim Carrey goes to an Arby's and the, the nice little teenage girl or 25-year-old who they see have play a teenage hostess is going to say, Hi, welcome to Arby's, Mr. Carrey. And he's going to go, Let me get one of those famous roast beef sandwiches. And then she rings him up, and he goes, ah, da, 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 da. but without fries, I'm feeling <laughs> mozzarella sticks. And the whole Jim Carrey meal is going to be, you go to Arby's, and you say, hold the fries, give me mozzarella sticks. Nothing is and different. that's the whole promotion. Nothing is different. Oh, then, I hate, then, I hate that. You know that. what the best part of that commercial is? You know what the best part of that commercial is? Then they have the stinger. Then they have the stinger where it's like, try the new mozzarella sticks at Arby's now with blah, 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 blah. And then the, the little tail end of the commercial where they cut back to the scene, mm -hmm. it's going to be Jim Carrey eating the roast beef sandwich 
and they're gonna do a callback to like the mask or something. He's gonna take a bite and go smoking, and then the commercial just ends. <laughs> Fuck you! In like the most dated reference they could possibly think of. Oh, I hate that so much. I but know. you're 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 right. <laughs> you're right. You're fucking right. Fuck That's that. Be it. Jim Carrey goes to Arby's. Apparently, according to my chat, I fucked up and originally said Ryan Reynolds. I, I'd say 50-50. It would be either one of those. Your Jim Carrey impersonation is spot on, by the way. Oh, thank you. I, sounds I just kind of... Sounds just like just like him. I was getting, like, his uh, his Robotnik performance vibes, you know? Mm -hmm. Which is the most recent thing that I've seen him in. It's also um, a good thing that he's in. Like, I, I think he's actually good in that movie. I enjoyed the performance, and I enjoyed the movie. Yeah. You know what, what my favorite uh... part of that movie is? When uh, when Sonic is being hunted down by the bad things, and Sonic comes up, and the main character goes, well, I guess we got to cancel our reservation at the Olive Garden, yeah. featuring new pasta dishes and endless breadsticks. Come in now for a all-you-can-eat family meal for only forty nine ninety nine at the Olive Garden. When you're here, you're family. Anyway, Sonic, what were you trying to say? And then he turns around, and Sonic's just flossing. <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite part of the movie. Oh man, I went to Olive Garden right afterwards because the advertising was so subtle and, and, and I, I fucking blacked out and then an hour later I fucking regained consciousness and I'm like, wait a minute, weren't we just watching Sonic the Hedgehog? What the fuck are we doing in an Olive Garden? And why am I three bowls deep into an endless pasta bowl? And why am I clapping my hands on rhythm whenever they remind me of it? Also, why, why, why does my ass hurt so much? Also, why is there a shaved gorilla in the kitchen? <laughs> Something ain't right here. Did that Sonic the Hedgehog movie drug me, do me in the butt, and then take me to Olive Garden? Dude, the A button is stuck into my controller. I can't I can't use this controller anymore. I used to chat it's happening again. The A button sticks. Finished. Yeah, the A button fucking sticks. That's why I'm jumping endlessly. Gorilla pasta. Yeah. When you're here, you're family. And they said it like three times in the movie. I, I'm gonna give them credit. They they did something with it. I so I don't know if you remember that scene at the end. Sonic the Hedgehog the movie had like two jokes that made me actually laugh. I don't remember all of them, but one of the ones I actually thought was really goddamn funny was when I, the whole day is saved and like throughout the whole movie, you know, they keep mentioning Olive Garden. They're like, oh, we should go to the Olive Garden. Oh, we should get you know, we can get some appetizers. But then at the end, the Pentagon guy comes up and they save the world from a terrorist. And yeah. he goes, the Pentagon has decided to give you a nice little stimulus payment for your help today. I think you'll find it more than generous. And it's a fucking $40 <laughs> gift card for the Olive Garden. <laughs> that part actually made me laugh really goddamn hard. Dude, spoilers, come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the best part of the movie. Like, Jim Carrey as a whole <laughs> is the best part of that movie. But that joke... I, I actually really like that joke because, of course, the product placement was shameless, but at least they made a funny joke about it. So I, it, I forgave them for it. I liked it. Mike, I happen to notice there's a jester hat added to the game, and you're not wearing it. I didn't unlock it yet because I suck uh, at video games. Maybe if I was better at video games, I would have the, the, the jester hat. Pardon my language, but you're a stupid piece of poopy, Mike. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I, I'm always a fan of, like, kitty insults where they don't belong. I want to be watching, like, an HBO drama. I want to be watching The Boys Season 2 on Amazon, uh -huh, and uh -huh. Billy Butcher is just like, you know, Huey, you're a real piece of doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I gotta agree with you. I that to once I've, in my life. I've always loved that. Like, oh, you complete fucking mother of a duty ball. Yeah. You're such a real jerk. <laughs> I love just... that. Oh baby. Nah, you're what you're can watching. You do impressions, Mike? You're watching you, you Game of my... you're, you're watching Game of Thrones and Jon Snow's like, "Wow, I can't believe Daenerys Targaryen turned out to be such a duty head." <laughs> I died by the way. I got stuck in the Oh fuck. Tree. Yeah, good. Yeah. Can you do any impressions, Mike? You said my Jim Carrey. You flattered me earlier. Can you do any? Uh, nah, and I don't know, chat. Can I do any impressions of of like celebrities that are that are good? Ah, Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah, that one. Well, that's fucking shit. Well, 
Hyperdimension Neptunia? Well, I, I, is it though, or is it just the generic what? anime girl voice? I can yeah, do I generic anime girl voice. <laughs> I can hey, do it anime. Oh. Anime girl. Anime, voice. anime my, girl uh, voice. What voice is that? Hey, come check out this. Uh, like fucking. That's like my Roger Rabbit, but about to be like molested. Or nineties uh, advertisement. Don't do that to me, everybody. That would not be very pleasant. Or like the um, like really enthusiastic like nineties advertisements for like Nerf and stuff like that, and like Gushers. Hey, come get some Gushers, kids! Don't get Gushers in the library. From this the off the librarian. Of incredible Turbo Blaster comes Harbaball and Dish Drive. You got Put it. The disc in the slot, fire it across the room, and watch it land in eight unique colors. <laughs> Mine's made of flurple. Imagine the, your, your your parents who had jobs spending money on that shit to stop you from crying for five minutes. Oh lord. Like man, what the fuck? Literal garbage. Like we were sitting there making our parents pay real money for actual fucking trash in the nineties. Yeah. I mean, not like that doesn't happen yeah. anymore, but like I sometimes I think about that and feel bad, you know. Well, all it is is video games now. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Oh, I can like why why buy this. toys when you can fucking when you can fucking buy video games. Yeah, video games are uh, oh, better actually uh, for cost effectiveness, and you a, get more mileage out of number, out of a video. <gasps> a good number of uh, a good number of you chat people are saying that you impersonate various Vine Sauce members. Ah! Oh my god, that was heartbreaking. Oh, uh, various Vine Sauce members, like, yeah. um... You, you yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, like, when that time that I did Fred from, from Vine Sauce, and I was like, yeah. Fred, Hi, I'm Fred from Vine Sauce, <laughs> when, And he doesn't add, rem remotely sound like that. At that all. Perfect. I think that's the fucking, the one time I, that I did that, that you guys are talking about. Well, I was, I was gonna request that uh, you do Mike... Parentheses, Vinny's friend from oh, I, Sauce. Oh, I forgot. Brian Dad. There's that oh, one yeah. too. I could. I Brian can, Dad. I can yell Granddad, yeah. like re really loud. And yeah, um, just yell that. That's all Joel does. I don't. Um, I don't know any any other ones. I don't know what else you're talking about. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello there, partners. <laughs> when I'm Raven Scarecrow, we're gonna stream some video games. Yeehaw! That's perfect. Propane, propane let me, accessories. Let me, let me do a new impression I just thought of. Can I mm -hmm. do a new one, Mike? So it might not be very good, but could I could I give another one a try? Yes, please. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Uh, my name is Jabroni Mike, and I'm, I'm a fucking idiot, and I'm super fat, and I have no friends. And in 1997, I went to juvenile court for touching my dog inappropriately. That, that's the impression. Was it? How was it? Hey, did I just black out and say something and hear myself saying something? <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. What one the hell? One, I just right? I just had an out-of-body experience. What the fuck? I think I just astral projected. It was one to one, right? One to one. Try two to two. Oh, yeah. You brought up Jim Carrey and the mask before, which means that I have to bring up, like, contractually obligated to bring up the deleted scene from The Mask 2. Have you ever seen The Mask 2? I have seen The Mask 2, but okay. I don't think I've seen the deleted scene. All right. So there was a scene that was shot for that movie. That I'm currently trying to find the screenshot. I I don't know where this fucking screenshot keeps going. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to get a new one. A new one, I think. Uh Mal messaged it to me. Uh I'm going to pop it into the Discord so you could take a look at it, all right? All right, sounds good. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I think my fucking, whoop. All right, there we go. Very nice. All right, so take a peek at the Discord real quick, okay? Uh, well, I've seen all I need to see. Okay, this is what I'm showing Andrew right now, for those of you who haven't seen yeah, this yet. Let me get that on my end. Too, yeah, here. pop I, that up. You're going to make me save this to my computer, Mike. Pop like that up into, into OBS. You could put that in the folder with all the uh, the rat porn that you got going uh, it's on. It's going into my Travis Scott fan pictures folder. Travis Scott spank bank folder. Yeah, as every loyal fan has. So I've got two. That's what Mike just sent me. So, Mike, where is where is this going? It, 
just uh so in the mask two there's a scene where the mask gets lucky and scores with a lady right and he has the sex with the lady right and because don't forget so far, mask so don't forget mask two is called son of mask right now is that so, in the movie we get to see the mask like big elongated cartoony green cock slam pile a woman in her beef hole like i think uh in in the uh american version it's edited out. See, that's the interesting part. This thing that I'm showing you is not found in the American version of the movie. They thought that the fucking mask sperms were too spicy for American audiences, right? Too delicious, yeah. Yeah. So they actually didn't include that. So probably the version that, of the movie that you watched did not include these fucking demonic, quite honestly, terrifying, nightmare-inducing sperm. I, nightmare I, I distinctly sperm. remember a close-up of the mask cream pieing inside a woman, but I don't remember seeing the cartoon sperm. Oh, well, then you, did, sperm. The, you watched the European version. Oh. Oh, so I guess the American version had the green uh, mask cream pie, where it looked like somebody squeezing Nickelodeon gack into the container to make the fart sound? Yeah, it was, right? like, I, someone, it was like someone took a, t a, a tube of that, like, wacky kid's green ketchup yeah. And put it in a balloon and squeezed it as hard as they could, both in noise and visual. And it made these, uh, these sounds at at the at the time. Chat. Let me get you this. Let me get you the sound effects for what Andrew is describing. Where where did they? Uh, here we go. Th oh, thank God, I found them. Here we go. You're gonna want to put the audio on for the for my the. Uh, you're gonna want to put the audio on for my for my stream if you haven't done so, Andrew. Uh oh, God, I. Have your chat up, but not your stream. Hang on. Yeah. We're just gonna leave that on for like ten minutes. So this is the noise it makes in the deleted scene. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear it? Still going. It's not done. Nope. Wait. Almost done. Almost done. Wait. Wow. Wow. Not not um, quite done. Not quite done. Wow. They call it cinema's longest cream pie. I want I, to stand up and applaud, honestly. I believe, I believe it's a record cream pie. At four and a half what? minutes, the longest cream pie in cinema history. What is that noise, even? Because I've heard that noise in other, like, uh, cartoons and those, stuff. Those are Hanna-Barbera stock sound effects. Those, those are, are Those are official Hanna-Barbera uh, sound effects. You're actually. right. Fuck, I didn't want to fall down here. You're well, absolutely the right. The fall they guy are. fell, because that's what he does. Are you uh are you in the game or what happened? I am. I'm still in. Yeah. You qualified even after you looked at the the Jim Carrey uh, mask sperm. If anything, it spurred me on to win because <laughs> that would mean I could accomplish something after like having my life ruined. It spurred you on to victory. Nice. Mike, I. Uh, yeah. I want to find a way to like get you committed of tax fraud <laughs> when we, whenever we talk. <laughs> I don't know how, but there's a government office for it. Uh, I'm going to jail for tax fraud, and I didn't even commit tax fraud. Fuck. Who really commits tax fraud this day and age, though? Ah! Are you still in the game? Uh, yeah, but... Oh, look at this strat that these people have figured out. You just stand here, and nobody yeah, can do shit. Yeah, so I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this game mode sucks, too. This game mode is complete and utter ass in every conceivable way. Correct. But that's okay. Uh, is it, though? Is it? As long as we could beat Yellow Team, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I don't like how hard it is to jump over the flat. Why are you? I'm your teammate. Get off me. So, yeah, the deleted scene... Uh, was only in the European versions, the, the international release, but it does not appear in the American version. And well, if anything, somebody... the Europeans loved it. They, they love sex stuff. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. So, somebody in chat had said that it reminded them, or the, the giant green sperm, it reminded them of a, a sports team mascot, right? And at which point, I immediately said the San Antonio Sperms, which exists now. They have a jer an official jersey uh, because somebody made it in Photoshop. And I'm trying to show you that too, but I can't, I can't find it. Dude, my memes are in complete disarray tonight. Fuck. 
fuck? Where did it go? Well, the chat could see it. I wanted to. I wanted to show. I wanted to show your chat, but I can't. Can't find you the image. Oh yes, I can. All right, hold on. I got you. It's coming at you, buddy. Why do you have all these things? This is my career. What are you talking about? Fair point. Now, is it experience from your night job as well, crossing over, or...? My night job being what, Andrew? Googling funny images of sperm <laughs> for various clientele around the world. What else would it be, Mike? I'm a semen fixer. What's wrong with my semen, Mike? Semen fixer. No, it's not that I, I repair broken semen. It's that I if people when people are in need of it, I could get it to them with no questions asked. See, I know a guy. So you're like Uber Seed. I know a guy. Mm hmm I know a couple of guys, actually. I know a lot of guys who produce semen. Very virile. Many of them, actually. Very Most of them. Virile guys. And here's the thing. None of them use Irish Springs, so you know that this shit is going to be top-notch. Not tainted, huh? Nope. This is a fucking like two hour callback reference to it's an earlier a topic. One, actually. To an I'm, earlier I'm topic. Proud of you. We've been going for what, two and a half hours, and you finally looped it back to finally Irish Spring ruining your semen? Looped it back. The A button is stuck in again. Oh, dear God. I'm gonna need to get a new controller before I attempt to play a video game again. This is S. Can I just slam some WD-40 in there, or is that going to kill the controller? Um, they make contact cleaner made oh. by WD-40. Oh, that, wait, that can you I... you can spray in there. Can I buy the gamer goo? Remember that, the gamer goo shit? I'm eliminated. Oh, yeah, that shit was cool. You smear it all over your keyboard. The A button I'm going to buy some right now, actually. It's still gamer goo. firmly... I'm going to buy a tub. Firmly fucking pressed into the fucking controller. Dude, the gamer goo actually makes great lube too. Or or so I, or though? so or so I hear. Or so I hear. I've you heard know, hypothetically. I've heard through the grapevine. You're still in this, right? I am. Alright, I'm gonna spectate you. It's kinda funny too, because I feel a migraine coming on, like my head's starting to hurt, but I am not leaving this until we get that victory. It's all the bright colors. It well, really might be. I'm not even kidding. I may not have a choice because my fucking controller, like the, the A button was just that entire match was completely depressed. I'm sitting here trying to use my fingernail to pick the A button out of the controller and it's not working. That's totally fine. Yeah, I, it's fucking Realistically, yes. I'm probably going to have to stop after this one. All right. So, guys, I want to say thank you for coming tonight. Thanks for watching. Uh, Andrew, thanks for playing with me. This was cool. Yeah, of course. Um... I we guess need we'll to do this more often because I feel bad that this keeps getting delayed and we'll, going back and we'll we'll try Among Us again at some point. Let me know. I guess if you if you could cobble cobble some some folks together. But again, getting fucking like eight people together to do literally anything is just impossible to begin with. So uh, if you if you swing it, cool. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Um. And guys, I believe this weekend we're doing it again, and I will hit you with that invite for sure, but we got to see what happens. Slam it right into my ass. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. Well, are you, are you like, done streaming? Are you leaving? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pack it in uh, for the night, probably. Okay, that's... Because my A button is packed in. Where, where are you? Where is your hot dog, I'm man? pushing the blue ball because I'm an asshole. I can't locate your hot dog. Bana banana hot dog, man. Where is he? Uh, oh, there he is. I was just, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm looking for a fucking yellow banana like a shithead. Okay. Well, don't worry. This might be the end of the run right here because our team is fully incompetent. Well, you just That's got your fucking that. dick flattened. Yeah. Chat, thank you for the subs and the resubs and the uh, the bits and stuff. I'm sorry again. I didn't call out the the subs tonight. You know, I could just look at the. I could look on the... We the... could we could have... We could call... We could, like, shake each other's hands right now, say that's the end of our venture, and then both of us have a little wind down with our own respective chats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's... I'm let's, down uh... with that. But I definitely got to stop. Yeah. I, I can't stare at computers anymore for a All while. Right. Let's go ahead and do that. Andrew, thanks again for, for joining me. Yeah. I will organize another thing soon. And thank you for playing with me. It was great, right. as always. I'm going to look up this hot dog shit. Very cool. A, pl a pleasure. I'm going to link you a video in a minute. You're going to... 
I gonna get... unfortunately will probably watch it. You're going to get a truth bomb dropped on you. All right. Sounds good. I'll Thanks, see you later, Mike. bud. Good night, dude. All right. Uh, I'm looking currently at the dashboard. Um, I'll put some, some music on. Stream summary. How do you fucking stream manager? How, how, how's it, how's this shit work? All right. So 19 minutes ago, uh, two hours ago. Uh, also, guys, if anybody's new here, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on YouTube. Links are in the chat. Um, yes, yesterday. Okay. In no particular order, actually, in a in a in a very particular chronological order, I want to say thank you to Coley Cow, eighty seven Morpheus, Clyde the Cash. Uh, Lord Dickfist, Point of View Man, Rios, Palm Chomp, Nix, Fumble, Superfly, uh, Possum Tot, Citric Acid, Edge Jadge 5, Shintendo, Providence, Official Uvula, uh, and Providence with the bits. Thank you. Just Sturg. Welcome back to the family, guys. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Uh, and thank you for the bits and such as well. If anybody had made art, uh, you should put it on the Buru. Let's see if we got anything here tonight. I do. I got one piece of art from Bakey Cat. I'm gonna desperately try to get it onto the desktop. It says, I dip it in the barbecue sauce. And there it is. There's Hugby's banana uh, banana hot dog and my beautiful cock in a tutu. Guys, have a great night. Thank you for the money. I'm gonna use it to buy a new controller now because apparently that's a thing. I need a new controller. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye.